That's how I feel inside, knowing we have two months off coming up. <laughs> guests were caught piling change into the glass display cases at Cosmic Rewind. Said guests, it was all we had left after buying the Lightning Lane. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein was fired from Disney this week. Man, first the guy dies, now he's fired. Can't catch a break. I'm joking, Epstein, this Epstein wasn't related to the infamous man of the same name, and they proved it with the DNA test from D23 and me. <laughs> Dave Portnoy was gonna be a panelist tonight on March Madness, but then he rated Via Napoli the same as Pizza Rizzo. Even stranger in his One Bite Chicken Parm review, he gave Tony's a 10. <laughs> You've read WWE News Today, now it's time for WWE News Tonight! <laughs> Live from WDWNT Celebration near the Walt Disney World Resort, it's the season finale. WDW News Tonight with Tom Corliss and Nicholas Cicero. Tonight, the conclusion of our March Madness Tournament to determine the absolute best food item at Walt Disney World. The wonderful world of psychotic comments, music of Piano Rob, and more. I'm Nicholas Cicero. Now, here's your host, Tom Corliss. Hello, I'm Tom Corliss, and I should run for president since I have consistently outsmarted Disney's lawyers. <laughs> if you can't do what I've done, should you be president? I don't know. Please. <laughs> Please hit the like button, subscribe, and if you're really enjoying this nonsense, you can leave a super chat. Your donation will be used for my campaign. We're gonna focus on education. They're gonna make uh, traditions three days long again for cast members. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Nick, how's it going? I'm, uh, I'm good, Tom. <laughs> I, uh, 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 I can't, uh, can I, um, I Yeah, I know, we have, we have the auction. Really see um, you. Um, this Sunday, we have an auction, our spring cleaning auction. I need to make room. Um, so, Jake, we have that logo for people. Uh, this Sunday, April, no, that's Nick again. Wasn't there a better <laughs> place to put this stuff, Tom? Uh, the spring cleaning auction is this Sunday, April 2nd at noon. Uh, the live stream will be on the, uh, actually, the main WW News Today channel. And uh, then you can bid. You can actually already start bidding at auction.wdwnt.com. Over 300 items from my personal collection can be yours. And the proceeds will go to some projects. We want to upgrade the computer here in the studio, some other stuff um, although, around the Although, company. Tom, I do have a little peephole here. I can see the are audience. You, are through. you really? <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I see I'll make, you. That's fine. <laughs> I got it. If you're going to complain the whole time. Oh, right. you, oh that's, that's much better. All right. I can breathe now. That gives me a little space. I like that. It's good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I love it. Feels like you're back in your natural <laughs> habitat. I do, right? I do. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Oh, boy. What? What does that even mean? What are, why are you playing the death uh, march? It's a natural <laughs> habitat. <laughs> what does that mean? I have no idea. Let's see what's happening this week on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> there it goes. This week, tune in for The Bad Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> Who will get the final rose? This part of Order 66. <laughs> tune in to find out. <laughs> anyway. How do you think we can build this? No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even see that on camera. This is why you have to come live. You're missing how. Nick is playing Jenga with my belongings. We'll have to remove these items from the auction when they fall. You're in the splash zone in that region. <laughs> We're not responsible if you get hit by a Funko Pop. We're not. It's in your ticket, the fine print. He's still going, look at this. Ooh, this one's heavy. You don't, that's, that's a ceramic no. mug. Don't, no. Please don't do that. You don't put, it's too, too high, Nick, too high. You can see where the theming ends on our <laughs> ceiling. It's like it's a small world. No, 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 no. Nick. This was a, this was a terrible, a terrible idea. All right, I'm gonna, 
I know how to distract you. Should we do the news? News. News. That works. There you go. <laughs> That's the only way to stop him. <laughs> the central, oh, we're going to talk about this. The Central Florida Tourism Oversight District is preparing for a huge legal battle with Walt Disney World, and it's not over broken glass in an entree. Uh, it's being said that lawyers were hired to challenge agreements Reedy Creek's old board approved right before DeSantis's new board uh, took over. And one of the important agreements includes the developer agreement, which outlines Disney's rights over district property for the next 30 years, regardless of what the new board says. Well, they sure are living up to their name of an oversight committee. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Oh, man. These agreements, I think these are the guys that wrote the original Magic Key bylaws for Disneyland. <laughs> these, were, these were the guys. These agreements are being called unusual and suspect by the district's legal counsel. They also said the same of the nearby tap water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. The term, oh, man. The t Thank you, Sabrina. The term length... The term length for the declaration was set for perpetuity, but a clause was included as a redundancy, quote, this declaration shall continue in effect until 21 years after the death of the last survivor of the descendants of King Charles III, King of England, living as of the date of this declaration. Nick, do you have any insight here? Because I think you have a couple of 21-year-old clauses, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can we put that box back up here? <laughs> The district also, another bylaw, may not use any Disney name, copyright, symbol, or intellectual property owned or created by Disney. Of course, unless they open a 192 gift shop, then Disney Gifts is, of course, an acceptable <laughs> name of the store. <laughs> Thank you. The locals got it. <laughs> the locals got it. Why are you two already over there? <laughs> we got like 30 minutes until March Madness. All the seats are full. All the seats are full, yeah. That's surprising. I've heard we have a surplus of chairs, so I'm shocked, shocked to hear that. Um, this is a fun thing that happened. The executive office of the governor reached out to us at WDWNT with a statement from communications director Taryn Fensk, quote, we are pleased the new governor appointed board retained multiple financial and legal firms to conduct audits and investigate Disney's past behavior. Yeah. In order to investigate Disney's unscrupulous past behavior, they're currently printing out the web history of WWNT.com. <laughs> oh boy. They tried to take away free bread in 2019? <laughs> the special counsel. That was the thing that happened. We saved free bread. That, I like to talk about the bears. Not the free bread, not so much. Uh, the special counsel indicated during the meeting that the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District should hire more law firms to take on Disney so that everyone has an even chance. Yeah. They immediately hired the law firms of Loggins and Flume and Gonondola. <laughs> <laughs> of course. They both were hired. They're on the case. 1-800-ZIP-A-D. <laughs> Liv Tyler, of course, the star of That Thing You Do. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could see her feet in our lobby. Yes. Uh, she's coming back to the MCU to star in Captain America 4. Uh, she only agreed to return once she found out that her dad would get to stay in Rock and Roller Coaster. <laughs> she's like, I'm on, I'm on board. Yeah. I think they should play That Thing You Do on Rock and Roller Coaster. That would, that would be the ultimate overlay. Oh, that would be great. That Thing You Do a Coaster. <laughs> anyway, yeah. anyway, I can't read. The, what'd you say? The Wonder Coaster? Wonder Coaster. Oh yeah. The Oneaters. The Oneaters. <laughs> Featuring the Oneaters. <laughs> Boy, I think everyone in the audience has now seen that thing you do. I think we forced people to watch it. They're out of curiosity. They're like, I don't even know what movie they referenced. I have to go home and watch this now. <laughs> Man, uh, the Disney social media team made an unfortunate error in a recent Disney Plus sponsored post. This never happens. Uh, they included a photo of siblings Luke and Leia from Star Wars among, quote, couples we will forever ship. <laughs> uh, for the older people in the crowd, that means couples that uh, they think should be in a relationship. Luke and Leia Skywalker, yeah. In fairness though, of course, Luke shot first, so. <laughs> oh man. 
You know, it all does make sense, though, now that Disney is headquartered in Florida. I get it. It makes sense. <laughs> it's bad when Sabrina groans. That's, that's not a good sign. We should move on. Animal Kingdom is now selling a Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail Sunday, named after the nearby animal exhibit. Yeah, it's the third best Animal Kingdom attraction-based item I've had at the park behind the uh, dinosaur, it's fast, it's a blast, it's in the past parfait, and the Expedition Everest Legend of the Forbidden Mountain hash browns. Like, <laughs> those are real good. You had those, Rob? Yeah, the, I, I couldn't believe they didn't make our list. No, they didn't. I no. couldn't believe. They just, those were 65 and 66. It was just missed. On the list, yeah. You can, oh, boy. <laughs> You can now buy the Toontown Golly Pops at Walt Disney World. These are candies that read Garsh, Oh Boy, and Hot Dog. They're also available in Nick's Maxi Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey kids, who wants to see a hot dog? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Garsh. Garsh. <laughs> His face in the box. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's Nick's face in a box. <laughs> wow. Rumor has it. Please. Rumor. <laughs> oh, Rumor has it that a nine hour Director's cut of Avatar The Way of Water may be coming to Disney Plus. If it's nine hours long, did you cut anything? <laughs> I don't know. It sounds more like it's Avatar 2 The Way of Waterboarding. <laughs> oh, feel. Oh. At least it's something to watch while you're in line for Flight of Passage. Something to do. Epcot is now selling Orange Bird Tupperware for the Flower and Garden Festival. You know, Mother's Day is coming up, so give your mom the bird with orange yeah. bird Tupperware. It's also perfect for trying all of the Epcot margaritas at once. <laughs> I'm joking, bring all your festival leftovers home because the portions are just so big. <laughs> What's that crumb from? That was the cheesecake. Yeah. Disney Vacation Club members can enjoy the first ever lounge at Disneyland Resort beginning April 19th. And you can join DVC for roughly the same price of going into actual space. <laughs> Inspired by Walt Disney's optimistic vision of the future, the brand new space named Disney Vacation Club Starview Station is coming to the heart of Tomorrowland. Starview Station, the thing has no windows. It's nothing view station. Might as well be a Toy Story restaurant. <laughs> Maybe there's a loose, Eric, is there a loose stool? <laughs> a loose stool in the DVC lounge. Oh man, they said their members will enjoy some out of this world amenities to refresh and recharge, including member services team, uh, complimentary Wi-Fi, device charging, and comfortable seating. Yeah, you know, because in the park they only give you uncomfortable seating. <laughs> you need to go in there if you want your ass to not hurt. You gotta be a, <laughs> welcome home. Shortly after a visit from Bob Iger and Josh Tomorrow, Disneyland Paris has now ceased all annual pass sales and will only resume when a new range of annual passes are introduced. Yeah, you know the drill, more money, less dates, less benefits, but you do get to sign up for preview events where the website won't let you register. It's great. Yeah. Paris fans wanted to have what we had so bad. Yeah, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> yeah. Now they're gonna start nervously smoking a second pack a day until the new tickets, <laughs> until the new tickets are announced. <laughs> Someone just goes, it's early. Oh. How do you say incredible in French? Incredible? What? Incredible? It's the new, the incredible place. Get ready. It's coming. A sign for evil stuff has appeared above the gift shop for Villain Con Minion Blast at Universal Studios. You may have seen the sign before, though. It used to be above the office of Bob Chapek. <laughs> Everyone knew that was coming. People that said evil stuff. People that cry like, I know where he's going. I know where the, it's fine. 
Who brings us the news? This program is brought to you by Wigs, the WDWNT Inner Globe Society. Support WDWNT to get early and exclusive access to content you can't find anywhere else, including exclusive post shows for WDW News Tonight and Park Center, access to our prize wall, a monthly Zoom with Tom, access to our Discord community, early access to our events, and much more starting at just $2 per month. For more information, visit patreon.com slash WDWNT or visit WDWNT.com and click the Patreon link. Join Wigs and unlock even more WDWNT. I assume we have some Wigs members in the crowd. Thank you for being Wigs members. Appreciate it. There's a post show tonight where we will conclude your exclusive tournament of uh, Disney Parks incidents. <laughs> We'll see if the lady who crashed down the steps at Wilderness Lodge wins. It's her, it's her tournament to lose. Just like her driver's license. Anyway, uh, let's see what's premiering this week on Broadway. Come to see Barefoot in the Park. <laughs> yep, that's why I don't sit in row two. <laughs> There you go. Um, some quick things I want to mention uh, off the top. We talked, about the, we talked about our auction on Sunday already. Obviously, it's a busy week, and tomorrow is the last day of the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary celebration. Woo! Who's wooing for Joe? <laughs> what are you wooing? The last day. Okay. And then, obviously, the first day of maybe the 100th anniversary? No one, no one knows. We'll see. It's going to be an exciting weekend. Uh, and then, on top of that, uh, also... Um, coming up uh, in April, the 25th anniversary of Animal Kingdom. Jake, do you have that logo by chance? Uh, we are celebrating 25 years of Animal Kingdom with a little shindig uh, that we call uh, Wild at 25. Uh, that's going to be happening. I can't see the logo, but I assume it's... Oh, wait, hold on. It's coming. Come on, drum roll, everybody. That's, that's not a drum. I didn't bring my drum set. <laughs> you didn't bring your drum set? Drum Rob. Drum. <laughs> per percussion Bob. Per <laughs> it's not letting you load it. You'll have to wait and see what the logo looks like. Describe but it to us, Tom. Well, it, it, has, it has a tree. There's a tree, and then it says, Wild at 25, an unauthorized field trip. And uh, that's going to be happening on April 21st and 22nd. For WIGS members, there is a Sanaa dinner on April 21st. We invite you to join us for And then on April 22nd, we invite everyone to join us at Animal Kingdom for some group rides, group photos, a game, and more. A fun little meetup at Animal Kingdom on its 25th anniversary. Registration will open next week on Monday. We're going to aim to have that open to WIGS members for early access. Um, so you guys can get into your Sanaa dinner and such. And then, uh, then we'll open... Registration to everybody. Looking forward to it. Should be a fun time. Yeah. Is there something else I have to plug? Oh, yeah. So we'll do Super Chats instead. Okay. Here we go. It's time for Super Chats. Everyone's favorite part of the show. Alex Arandando, $7 yeah. blank Super Chat. Seven? Sabrina sounded so defeated. Yeah, seven. I'm just going to keep playing games on my phone in the audience. They didn't give me a bit this week. <laughs> <laughs> she said her children were disappointed she was playing herself. Yeah. Samuel Valdada, five dollars. As far as far as you don't show a picture of Michelangelo's David to tenth grade kids. Okay. How far I'll go. Uh come on. Max Venti, five dollars. Yeah. Like super chat. Like super chat. That's great. Uh Jason Champagne, seven dollars. Corliss or Cicero 2024, because if we can't fix Washington, we can at least all have good laughs and liquid magic. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Becky Christensen, $5. I'd like Tom to put a framed photo of King Charles III <laughs> on his desk. <laughs> oh, man. Dina Jolis, $4.99. Corliss or Cicero 2024. You can't get my name right? Come on. It's in the logo. <laughs> It's, in the, it's, behind the, it's blocked by the boxes tonight, in fairness. Can't see it. What was that, Allison? If he ducks. Can you see it? Yeah. 
There you go. <laughs> Ooh, that's scary. Ah. <laughs> it's the last thing you'll see. <laughs> you know. Oh my god. <laughs> Rob's every week is like, how I can't believe how far they'll take this joke. I'll, I'll tell you the honest thought I had in my house when he made that face, the pop in the face. It was if, if Martin Short and Milhouse had a baby, that was the face <laughs> that I saw come in. Wow. I love how you just cue yourself for music. <laughs> You're going to do a request show while, while we're I think off, I am. Right? That's what we're talking about. Are we sure about the day yet? We're not sure yet. We're not sure. We think it's going to be the second April Thursday 13th, of, we think? of April yeah. 13th. We'll, we'll keep, keep you posted. While we're away, there, there's fill-in programming. We'll talk about what Eric's doing shortly. But uh, Rob's going to be uh, doing a, an all-request show. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. Do we have more Super Chats? There we go. Alex Wu, $3.86. So we could see Tom animatronic at the Hall of Presidents. <laughs> It'll just be the Trump one. They'll just dress it again. <laughs> it's fine. Step into the magic. 199, can we get a Coriolis or Cicero 2024 t-shirt? No, because I still have 12 flags over Epcot shirts. And until those are gone, you get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you get nothing. More music? <laughs> Just making Jake anxious while he tries to fix things. <laughs> well, I like the most anxiety-ridden music. I was, I was originally well, checking fixes. to see if mine was back, because it was so far. I'm like, we're not back. It's frozen over here. And... Oh, now you're going to make everybody cry? Just swaying behind his pile of boxes. That's what happens. Just let the piles it? not sway. And we're back! Anyway, that was the meaning of life. Oh. <laughs> I hope the people at home saw that. It was a revelation. Yeah. How's it going, Nick? Oh, just fine. <laughs> I think that pile of boxes interfering with the stream. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't. It's blocking the rabbit ears. I gotta make it higher. I gotta turn this into an antenna. Yeah. <laughs> Put the die cast Star Wars figures at the top, they'll. They're the most conducive. Mm -hmm. Anyway. 
I guess we're, we're back now? Yeah. Okay, cool. Is, are the super chats working or no? Yeah. Okay. All right, here's the next one. Sam Fritz, 499, do I have to fly to Tokyo and shout random baseball scores at you while in line for a gyoza dog? <laughs> also happening open... JC Bob at 499, you could say car on Stair Lady is a runaway favorite. <laughs> we have the worst joke of the night? We have that? Does that work? <laughs> no? Cool. <laughs> we'll just move on. It's fine. Nick M2112, $5. Bob Chapey was just indicted for laying off cast members to pay hush money to cover up that he actually stole the Buzzy animatronic. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Quite a story. Owen with the blank super chat, $7. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin Fraser, $9.99. Hi, Tom. It was a pleasure to meet you President's Day weekend. Easily the highlight of my trip, though Guardians is a close second. You and your team, you and your team are the best. Thank, thank you, Kevin. Very kind, very sweet. He said the thing. The Rowdy Texan abroad, $4.99. It's WrestleMania week, and we demand a Tom Explains Wrestling segment. Katie Vick, <laughs> for, what, for, for life? You want me to do that? That's what everyone, everyone loves when I do that. Yeah, there you go. Chippendales, $4.99. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. They have the icon. Yeah, I can't see it. I'll take your word for it. Get a good look at a T-bone, but never mind. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> the Eric Sapiro show, which of course Larry Elder is coming up right after our show, and then the Eric Sapiro show. He's the Carson Daly of WWNT TV. Four ninety nine with Nick's smiles in a small box. It looks like prison mugshot. I mean, you do have a mug. There are several mugs over there. <laughs> you know. Dina Jolis, 199, autocorrect, Tom. I don't, I don't think she, She's did she have? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Does it, that's a thing, L-I-S-S? -S? That's a thing your, your computer's telling you to put? Okay. <laughs> All right. It's not a word. S-F-O-T News, $7.77. Yeah. Thank you. Retro Red, $5. I feel bad for anyone who sees that face outside the window at night. <laughs> Poor Nick. You need two weeks. You need two months off from this, this abuse. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Tony Burke, five dollars. Can't wait to be at the Wigs 30th anniversary of Animal Kingdom. Does that happen? No, it's 20. Are you saying you're gonna come in five years? Uh, anyway, I hope. Don't show up late. Five years late. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Rowdy Texan Abroad, one and a cord cordless. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is always cordless. That's what allows him to be wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Cordless Lo Cicero. The Eric Sapiro Show, which, of course, is on after Larry Elder. Four ninety nine. when Nick smiles in a small box. This, why did we go back to this one? Or did he write it twice? He wrote it twice. It's important. Okay. Yeah. It's still funny. <laughs> okay. JC Bobbitt, uh, 199, tell me a new Back to the Future is filler. Oh, uh, while we're off. Um, back to the Future is going to be wigs only when it does come back, but we'll, we'll let you know when that is. Now, I'm, I'm not in the country for a while, so <laughs> it's, not, it's not happening. We'll let you know. JC Bob at 49, that was all an elaborate ruse to garner money for equipment during the auction <laughs> on Sunday at noon. Don't, do not be fooled. <laughs> you know. Jason, why are you loudly opening a bag of popcorn? It's not loud, the microphone's off. I can hear it from here. <laughs> Darius in the booth just going, I can hear it. Me too. I could hear it over chew. here. Like, put the mic. If Darius can hear, it, put the mic closer to your mouth while you chew. We oh, know. <laughs> he, <He's, laughs> he, people make millions on on TikTok doing that. You could. No. 
People, that's what they're paying women to do, chew popcorn into a microphone. Tom, it's not just women, you could do it. <laughs> 2023, anyone could chew anyone popcorn can, into a microphone. Anyone. <laughs> you know. You can go get that popcorn from Germany in Epcot. It's delicious and chew it for... From for, the caramel cooch? <laughs> which is across from the, from the glass kunst? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the name. The glass kunst. That's the name of the stand. That's the name on the sign. Roll out the glass barrel. Kunst. Roll no, out the barrel. Go home. <laughs> Bro. You were supposed to be home 20 minutes ago, Maddie. Go home. All right. JC, this new one, next one. Natalie Mopper, 1999. Excited to watch tonight as it's my birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We got you some caramel cooch. <laughs> Enjoy. The Trauma Factor, 99. Hey, you, Tom. Hello. <laughs> Bill Fair, 499, is Lilibet now an official Disney princess. I like how you, Desi, immediately started describing it before I even looked up. She's like, he has no idea. Why is that? Why is this a joke? Oh, uh, okay. All right. Yeah, I don't know anything about the royal family. I have no idea. J1111. Is Piano Rob willing to do mashups of Disney songs during the request stream? Yeah, I mean, whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What is the weirdest request you ever got at like Jelly Rolls? Or oh, I don't know, man. Because I think it's depending on who you are, something else is going to be weird. I mean, we've got what's like the weirdest request that was like you couldn't even do it? It was so weird. I mean, that happens all the time. I mean, it, just, really? it was easy. We, raps, anything that had bad language in it, I couldn't oh. do there. But people request TV commercials, or they want you to sing a song as another singer. Oh, okay. or, or they or like during the Glee time, it's like mash these two songs up. It's like you can't just mash any. Two songs. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Okay. Glee, what a dark time for musicians. There was a time. There was, there was <laughs> the dark ages. It occurred. During Glee. The a cappella age. Oh. Did you have to, for a while, he didn't even have piano, he just had cups. <laughs> <laughs> Cup Rob. That was my T ball uh, name. Right. <laughs> a good wow. joke. One Rob, two cups. <laughs> Are there more of these? We have a show to do. Six hour show. <laughs> Andy Betts went on cornless, cornless JPEG. Cornless JPEG. I'm I'm the Walrus 23777. Is that the intro to the Los Cicero bunch? Because you're in a you're in a square. Yeah. This is this is absolutely absolutely the dumbest show we have ever done. I would I lament the loss of the toast bit for this. The toast made more sense than this episode. What's next? That's it? Oh, we did it. That's great. Because we have a lot of show. There's the toast. Now the toast is in the square. <laughs> Hollywood Squares this week with the toast. <laughs> now we're just going to watch a Nick puppet show. <laughs> That's what the show is broken down into. I tuned into your Thursday show. I found that it was not about Disney parks. <laughs> there was a man in a box with toast. I would suggest changing the name of your show. We have, a, we have a great show tonight. We have the conclusion of March Madness. We are going to decide what is the single best food item at Walt Disney World today. It might be toast. It, there's no toast on the list. Well. Is it going to be ice cream, though? Nick loves ice cream. Tonga, Tonga toast ain't going to win. Get out of here. Uh -oh. Unless you super chat. <laughs> Boy. Anyway. Um, what else we got on the show? Nothing. Psychotic comments? Psychotic yeah. Psychotic comments, yeah. And eventually the logo for Eric's show. Do we have that yet? The logo for Eric's show. Do you have that? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. So we're going to take a commercial break. And we come back. Maybe we'll have logos. <laughs> Stick around and find out. Tonight.
The magic called you to a celebration 50 years in the making, and we f***ing blew it. Now, feel the magic everywhere as we erase the worst anniversary event in Disney Parks history. See the fireworks show you love return. Finally, ride that coaster we promised you for the last event. See us sail off those piece of shit barges in World Showcase Lagoon. And experience the lesser of two evil fireworks shows nightly at Epcot. Come see the Cinderella Castle clock revealed once more from behind that nonsensical bullshit 50th logo. The Disney World you remember is coming back. Minus the great movie ride. But maybe we can salvage the rest during our 51st and a half anniversary event. The world's most magical apology. Now through... Well, for a while, at the Walt Disney World Resort, we're sorry about him. The song after that. little bit of happily ever after it's coming back i was told <laughs> welcome back to news tonight we are live on wwnt tv please hit the like button please subscribe and please let's find out the disney parks incorrect fact of the week well, we are leaving the Disney parks. Due to cultural sensitivity, the new landing area of Islands of Adventure will be rethemed. Well, that was a that's a rough one. <laughs> let's let's move on. Let's move on, shall we? I tried. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see what's coming up on the show. Uh, we're not. <laughs> we're off we're off for a good long while ladies and gentlemen we will be back on june 1st are tickets available yet yeah. tickets are available now for all of our shows up until our 250th episode on july 6th which will be a three-hour spectacular uh celebrating 250 Aren't episodes they of the show. yeah <laughs> that one has more than one segment though that'll have multiple segments uh yeah so we are again uh, all, all uh, what is that, five Thursdays? Is that right? Yeah. Uh, all the Thursdays in June and that first one in July are now available. We will be having an event to coincide with that 250th episode. We will be celebrating 16 years of WW News today. So stay tuned for details. Tickets available now at www.newstonight.com. Joe is buying his tickets right now. You might want to wait for the package tickets that include the whole event, Joe. Just so you know. There you go. Nick. I have to tell you something. This might be heartbreaking. No. Is this the last time? This is the last time you will ever read this ad on this show. Is it because they kept offering their services for free and they went out of business? <laughs> I told them! I told them to charge something! They do all this magical vacation planning. And it's free! That's ridiculous! Charge a couple bucks! Five dollars! That's it. I, you better make this one count for them that's then. That's their fault. <laughs> what are you, are you playing arms? Oh, come on. 
Nick, who, please. This is an important moment, please. Nick, who brings us WDW News tonight? Well, Tom, WDW News tonight is brought to you by the Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their vacation planning experts craft your family's next trip somewhere to Lake Disney. But you know what the best part is? Like for you, not for them, obviously. <laughs> the best part is it's free. Free! Guys, free. Ridiculous, ridiculous. <laughs> uh, anyway, I hope you have a better business plan on your next venture. Um, but, but, look, hey, apparently they're still offering it. Get in now while it's still free, all right? And to do that, go to wdwnt.travel for details. The vacation air, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Well said, well said. Bon voyage. We are gonna get a nasty email. Why do people hate WDWNT? I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh man, Nick, do you have any, do you have any psychotic comments? I don't. But toast does. You know. <laughs> does he? <laughs> oh, he does. Okay. I'm just trying to buy them time. There we go. Walt Disney presents. All right, toast, go. Disney Plus shares photo of Luke and Leia in romantic couple's social media post. At Nico Michi wrote, I know we're all for inclusion now, but isn't incest a bit far? That was so bad we ran out of music. Disney Wish Cruise Ship debuts new 18 plus Oogie Boogie Dance Party. Oh, no. At Just People wrote, Damn, Oogie Boogie gonna be showing his itty bitty. <laughs> I mean, he is filled with worms. I mean. <laughs> uh, MCU King the Conqueror actor Jonathan Majors oh, arrested no. in New York City for assaulting women. Oh, no. At Lights Out 619 wrote, Disney is hoping his other variants are more behaved around the women. <laughs> you know. You know. <laughs> wow. Last one. Nearly all nooses removed from Phantom Manor at Disneyland Paris. Yeah. Uh, at Izzo Tartep. Disneyland Paris noose tonight. <laughs> and now the noose. News. Don't encourage this. What is wrong with all of you? He is out of control tonight. Where is this Nick the other 243 episodes? Why are you only good at like the first one back and the last one before we leave? Why is this a thing? He's dying behind this pile of boxes. Only the, before we go on break and when we come back are the only episodes Nick like comes ready for the show. <laughs> what was that? Who said something? What, what happened? He said he's toast. He's toasted. <laughs> he's toasted. You had too much of that green beer before the show. Oh, that's right. That xenomorph green beer. Yeah. Oh, I spit it out. It was gross. That's like hallucinogenic stuff, isn't it? This show is hallucinogenic stuff. <laughs> Do I can see why. You know, the first time that guy commented that he watches this show high, I questioned it. It's got to be the only way to watch this. I, I have no idea. But someone just in the crowd just goes, it is. <laughs> we gave you candy bars. There were candy bars. Uh, let's see what's, you know what time it is, folks. It's time to find out what's releasing this week on Nintendo Switch. It's the Oregon Trail's end. <laughs> you have died of social distancery. <laughs> you know, this is, 
We're gonna erase this episode when we're done. It's fine. What'd you say? We just stop now? now. Before people see that coat, probably we should. Uh Um, (laughs) That's right, folks. When we come back, it is time to end March Madness and to see Jason's vomit. Oh, wait, hold on. Before we see Jason's vomit colored jacket, we got to check out these super chats. Let's see what we got. We read that one. Cat Calico. Oh, boy. 1999. Thank you for actually producing creative content, if occasionally questionable. (laughs) Is it occasionally Occasionally, questionable or always questionable? (laughs) Did we just insult a sponsor that's been with us for several years for no reason? (laughs) Anyway. Dustin and Kara, $5. Tom, this is the dumbest show we've ever done. What Tom really means, this is the dumbest show we've done (laughs) so far. (laughs) And it's free. It's free. (laughs) Not a good, I can uh, confirm, not a good business plan. (laughs) We should be charging for this. Will Archer, 199, God bless Nick, he's a treasure. Aww. (laughs) Man. (laughs) Uh, Will Archer, 199, I want Toast to do psychotic (laughs) comments every time. We don't own the rights to toast. It's not, it's, it, we just bought it at a store. <laughs> there are more? No, that's it, cool. Save your super chats, you're gonna need them to save bread service because I'm sure everyone's gonna turn on me tonight. So, uh, when we come back, Jason's vomit colored jacket and the conclusion of March Madness. Stick around for more tonight. Yes, we here at Walt Disney World are sad to inform you that we won't have enough money or time to finish the planned attractions for our 50th anniversary celebration starting October 1st, 2021. The unexpected impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic have left us with very little money, only enough to barely afford our full executive salaries, Disney Plus show production, and construction of our Star Wars luxury resort for the insanely rich. After all that, we may only have $23 billion to spare. But don't you worry, in classic Disney fashion, we won't bring you new rides to enjoy. We'll bring you profit centers, I mean, immersive new resort hotel experiences. Forget Tron Light Cycle Run. Instead, enjoy a stay at Disney's Contemporary Resort, our first hotel without any stairs or elevators. Just slide up and down the abandoned tracks on your luggage. The new resort will offer picturesque views of the back of Space Mountain, a gas-powered slow-speed go-kart course, and for some reason, Storybook Circus. The rooms will be the same plain white hospital roof style that you know and love from us, but at an insane price since you're in the Magic Kingdom. Want a more cultured experience? Well, join us at the Remisons Inn at the France Pavilion at Epcot. Dine at La Creperie de Paris, our one and only dining location that was totally intended for this resort and sleep under projection domes showing poorly dubbed scenes of Ratatouille characters. The magic begins at check-in, where after we've collected your payment, we'll literally sweep you away to your room with a giant broom. Oh, and don't worry about those real-looking rats on the ground in your room, they're just part of the theme. Over in World Discovery, you'll find elegance at the Star-Lord Palms. Start your stay at our soaring atrium showcasing the empty interior of the universe of energy. Treat your children to our roller coaster track water slides, or savor a bite to eat at our rooftop restaurant. At Disney's Hollywood Studios, find a more value-friendly option, the Cozy Bell Motel. Sleep in one of eight large wheels of cheese that Andy dropped from his lunchbox. There's also the Animation Courtyard by Disney, where you can find rest and relaxation in your own row of the Voyage of the Little Mermaid Theater, or have a private photo session in an empty Star Wars character meet and greet. Last but not least, the Epcot Ramada. Sorry, we don't want to take on too many new hotels. We need some other company to shoulder the burden with us. Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary. More rooms, more revenue, more executive bonuses, less for you to enjoy. In the arms of an angel Fly away from here From the dark hotel room 
and the endlessness that you feel. You are pulled from the wreckage of your silent reverie. Here in the arms of the angel, may you find some company. Hi, I'm Eric Morton. Will you be an angel for a helpless Disney Parks animal? Every day, innocent Disney Parks animals are abused, beaten, and neglected. And they're crying out for help. Please call the number on your screen and join the DPSPCA, the Disney Parks SPCA, with a monthly gift right now for just $18 a month, just the price of one Disney balloon. You'll help rescue these animals and provide medical care, non-explosive food, and even better backstories and love. Call or join online in the next 30 minutes and you'll receive this welcome kit with a photo of a Disney Parks animal right now. One who's been given a second chance, thanks to you. Right now, there's an animal who needs you. Your call says, I'm here to help. Please call right now. We just went to me now. All right. Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful frame. Hakuna Matata, ain't no passing craze. It means no worry for the rest of your day. It's a problem free, a philosophy. Kuna Matata The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world all around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you. What a Under the sea, we off the hook. We got no troubles. Life is the bubbles under the sea.
everyone's here. Hey, Nick, have a lip, this ice cream of brown. And sweet and savory in a tasty showdown. The studio's cooking, time to have a chow down. Disney's best foods have come to play. You get to vote and have your own say. Eric, Jill, Jill was sick. Good God, Jill, you look like you looked at the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> no, no, Eric, Eric, it's me, Jason. Oh, Jill, fuck. Jill was sick, so the union sent me. Oh, no. <laughs> Who am I to argue with the union, right? You can't. That's true. That was an incredible opening with uh, Piano Rob. And speaking of openings, nobody does an opening better than the folks at Boxed In. Tune in to Boxed In on WWNT.TV every Friday night, but not every Friday night, but only on the ones when we do it on Friday nights, for the world's <laughs> best show about unboxing stuff in my kitchen. All right, Jason, we have some incredible... Yes, we here at Walt Disney World are sad to inform you that Waiting for a third. 
it's that time again, the most exciting time of year. That is March Madness here on WWNT.TV. I'm Eric Morton, live from the Box In Studio. With me, of course, is Jill Diffendahl. Um, Eric, <laughs> Eric, Jill was sick today, so the union Jill, said, Jill, what hey. happened to you? Jill, you Jill. Have a peanut allergy or something? <laughs> Eric, Eric, it's Jason. Oh. Jill was sick today, so the union sent me. Boy, these never get old. The best part is we could probably drop F-bombs because no one can hear it. <laughs> that was a great intro by P uh, Piano Rob, a wonderful opening. And if you like wonderful openings, folks, you need to watch Boxed In here on WWNT.TV. It is the world's greatest show that takes place in my kitchen. <laughs> and occasionally it's on Friday nights. You should check it out, WWNT.TV. TV. Now, Jason, we have some exciting matchups tonight. The big favorite is going up first. Uh, Sanaa Bread Service taking on those uh, counter -serve. Boy, this is a, a class, class warfare. We have the Sanaa Bread Service from a sit-down restaurant going up against counter service pork yeah. nachos. What do you think of that one? I mean, those pork nachos are good, but it's, 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 I don't think they stand a chance. Uh, I guess we'll see. I doubt it. Uh, next up, another one, Strawberry Shortcake going up against that uh, Germany pretzel. I mean, I guess we'll – I don't know if Lucas is in the studio for us to ask his opinion tonight. We'll find out about that one. Uh, then Ohana Bread Pudding against the Pongo Pong, Pongu Pongu Olympia. What do you think there? I mean, they're both sweet things with fruit. <laughs> That's why you come to WWNT.TV for that kind of analysis. You're not going to find that anywhere else in the Disney community, folks. They both have fruit. <laughs> and the last of this group, then, this is the Kitchen Cabaret region, of course. The No Way Jose from uh, Beaches and Cream. That's going against the Gideon's Chocolate Chip Cookie. Jason, this could go either way. What do you think? Uh, you know, here's the thing. Gideon's cookies are good, but the chocolate chip's not their best one. No. It's got that sea salt, though. I, I think it's pretty good. I don't know. Is it's there right. salt in a No Way Jose? Who um, knows? I, no way. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to send it down under the rotunda to our illustrious panel for this first group of matchups. Thanks, Eric and Jason. I think I'll take my parents to tomorrow's matinee performance. <laughs> so first two performances were so good. All right. Let's, let's introduce the panel. We've got Piano Rob over there in isolation. There he is. Uh, we got Sabrina and Nick over here. And then uh, Miss Allison and Desi on this side. Hello. And of course, myself. And then our seventh panelist seventh. is you. Yes, yeah, seventh is you at home. Do we need to show them the rules again? Do we have the rules? Yeah, Hold on. We're standing by for the rules. Uh, we need to show you the rules because you are the seventh panelist. I'll try to read this from here. Uh, of course, there are six WWNT panelists in each matchup, and uh, we will all vote. We get one point each for our votes. And you at home, by using that hashtag one or hashtag two, can take part in these matchups, and you can vote. And you, uh, whatever the consensus is in the chat, you are the seventh vote and the seventh deciding point. Of course, unless someone decides to super chat. Every $10, not $9.99, every $10 super chat can be a point. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. 9.99 is the iOS default. We'll take it. Fine. <laughs> for every 9.99 or higher, uh, we'll take a, a point for uh, whatever you'd like, of course. So, so every increment of 9.99, you can get a point for whatever uh, entrant you'd like. Those are the rules. Hope that makes sense. May the best item win, and I'm sure bread service will. Let's do our first. Let's get this first matchup rolling, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Rob, that's a mighty fine shirt you're wearing from Carousel of Products. Thank you. Definitely the shirt you showed up in tonight. Yes, I was. Uh, I came in today and I was like, you know, Tom, we didn't talk. Am I? Uh, am I going to be on the show after we come back from break? And he's like, Well, if you wear this shirt all night, vote my way. And I was like, this is weird. Uh, uh, yeah. So, well, Rob, our our first matchup is that Sanaa bread service up against the number nine seed, the pork nachos of the Polynesian. Rob, what do you like? This one's easy enough. I'm going to go bread service. Sabrina. I really like pork nachos. So I'm going pork nachos. Uh, <laughs> oh. Nick, I love Sabrina's those pork back. nachos. 
<laughs> but but I can make pork nachos easily at home. So not bread service. Can you? Yeah, I've seen you him make, make Sonata oh, bread yeah. service. His, He's made the sauces. So his Sonata right? bread I service was good. It wasn't, that's, like, all the sauces came out different, that's though. That's hard. They weren't bad. They were just different. Yeah. I think they lied that about those consuming. recipes. Yeah. That did. Okay. How long did it take you to do the sauces? Oh, what did that take us? That took us, like, four hours, right? Didn't well, they? you, and you prepped, Because right? I prepped, yeah. yeah. I cleaned the prep. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Uh, where are we? Desi? Bread service. Is love. But I'm sad about life. it. Why are you sad about the pork nachos? Because I do nachos? like the pork nachos. Oh. You can yeah. vote for the pork nachos. No, it's but up I to know. You. I, so it has to be the bread service. <laughs> Allison? <laughs> it's the bread service for me. Of course it's the bread service. <laughs> that's, that's four to one. Tom, I'm calling, I'm calling down from the studio. Can you hear me? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> um, we need to remind people in the chat that when it's their turn to vote, uh, you vote once and only once. Your other votes will not count. So as we told you last week, don't be an idiot. Back to you, Tom. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, you know what I'm voting I'm voting for bread service. That's five five to one uh, bread service with pork nachos. Do we have any poll results? We're still working on it, Tom. We're working on poll results. So I'm going to stand here for a while. <laughs> um, hope no one had anywhere to be tonight. <laughs> If you let me bring the toast on stage, you could have entertained everybody. That's true. <laughs> That's she my major toast. Would you like to go get the toast? We told people at the auction already. We already plugged it. I don't know. We, we can't the find the logo corner. for Eric's show. <laughs> Eric's starting a new show next week. We don't even have the logo. What's his show? What's the show about? Logo. Eric, do you want to talk about it? Well, the time is right. When I don't know if they, yeah, I don't know if they the have time? a camera switch. Now might be point. the time. But Eric will have a new show in this time slot next week. And don't worry, it's pre-recorded, so it'll end on time. <laughs> oh, Eric, do you want to talk about it now? They're setting you up for <laughs> it. Tiny. Let's zoom out as far as possible. There we go. There we Join us for an eight-week run with actually seven shows, because one will be the seven. Piano Rob uh, request show on the 13th. On Thursday nights, for our newest show, WDW After Five. Yes, WDW AF will focus on the bars and lounges of Walt Disney World. Myself and an ensemble cast will uh, review and evaluate each one of the bars and lounges on property over the course of time. So join us, same time, same station, on WWNT.TV for WWAF. Back to you, Tom. I definitely can't stand for anything else. That's real, by the way. That's not a joke. That's an actual show that we are doing. So tune in next week for that. They're still working on it. It's after five somewhere. Even if we assume Eric, can that, that be the theme song? Vote for the pork nachos. Sure. Uh, <laughs> well, we can't close the voting for one and open it for the next one. That's I thought, problem. Rob, it would be good. It would be, I just can't wait to drinking. <laughs> what do you think? Wow. No? <laughs> Someone, he sings, he tries to sing a new song and some of the crowd just goes, Spike the Bee. Just know your role, Eric. You sing Spike the Bee and Did shut you up. See, now you, you know how every one hit wonder ever feels. <laughs> you like, try a new song, Spike the Bee. Did you see Eurovision on Netflix? That's what it's like. No, I'm the only one with Will Ferrell. They scream out the same song all. Oh, yeah. No? <laughs> There's other streaming services besides Disney Plus. <laughs> I, I just got Apple TV and started watching <gasps> Ted Lasso. Yeah. I'm in season two. It's fantastic. Oh, yes. 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 For good things. They did not pay for this ad, unlike the vacation here. <laughs> did, uh, Apple Plus charge? Ted Lasso is free. <laughs> it's not, it's not, not free. You have to, the there's thing. a seven day free trial. That's why Free. Apple's a billion dollar company and the vacationer can't afford this membership wow. anymore. <laughs> All right, I'm out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to take over the show if you leave, Tom? I'm in Japan next week, so I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Can me and Desi take over? You do whatever you want while I'm All gone. All right, everybody vote care. again. What was that, Jake? They're voting again now. Stand by. This is Florida. You can vote as many times as you want. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. It's all right. No one's watching anymore. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, but the rules changed. They took away all the nooses and the hanging chads. They took away the nooses? 
Seuss's nooses? Oh Seuss's my gosh, what a Oh, the bread service! <laughs> who would have who predicted? Who could have predicted this? It's changing. Not by much. Yeah, no, it's fine. I mean, the pork nachos are good. It's no knock on the pork nachos. They, they're worth having, even if they are losing this match. That's OK. They're one of the top 32 items. I'm yeah, OK with no it shame. losing. There's no but shame at this point. It didn't need to go down without a vote. It got one vote from you. I know. That's why I'm saying. <laughs> I'll remember this. <laughs> Listen, I wore my villain shirt tonight for a reason. Right. It's because all the other shirts were stained with onion ring grease. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, and fried herb cheese. And fried herb cheese. Bread service one. Jake has, Jake has had enough of my shit. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it won. We're moving on, Tom. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man. Stay tuned to the post show for Jake's resignation. Oh, <laughs> okay, no. It's coming live on the air. No. Mine, too, so don't worry. Uh, right, what's, oh, people are already voting. It's the strawberry shortcake against the Germany pretzel. Allison. Strawberry shortcake, right? Well, you're not even gonna like, consult with Lucas. I time. was gonna ask if he's okay with that. Are you okay with that? Yes. He said yes. <laughs> we, we know where he stands on the Germany pretzel. Allison's on a tight leash. She has to make sure she has permission, <laughs> permission to vote for strawberry shortcake. Desi. Uh, true story before the show. I really did ask my husband what I should vote for, and he said something from Germany or Ohana, so oh. I gotta go with the pretzel. Okay. <laughs> Nick? So I don't care about either one of these, but in honor of uh, Jason being here tonight, only one of these can be found. <laughs> 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 so, Germany pretzel. Sabrina? Uh, strawberry shortcake. There you go. Rob? Yeah. I'm gonna go with the, uh, the shortcake. There's a lot of places to get the pretzel. The strawberry shortcake is the only item on this list. It has its own song. <laughs> I'm voting for the strawberry shortcake. It's four to two. What do people at home have to say? Wow, Germany pretzel. Wow. Germany pretzel. Ooh, That's four that to three. That could easily be swayed. Stay tuned for those 9.99 super chats. <laughs> we ready to move on to the next match? No, I just heard a no. Right? <laughs> yes, we are. Okay, to the next match. It's going to be the Ohana bread pudding against the Pangu Pangalupia. Both have fruit. I don't know if everyone knew this. Both, <laughs> both have fruit. Uh, Sabrina? I'm going to go with bread pudding. Nick? I'm going to have to go with lumpia. Those things are amazing. I, I fell in love with that food the first time I, I saw it. That, that Pandora. Yeah. It was so good. I'm going bread pudding. I love that bread pudding. They're both good, but... The bread pudding is iconic. Do you have to drink this week if I say iconic? No, we're not doing that? Okay. <laughs> Desi. I I heard you. Well, like I said, my husband wants me to vote for something, Germany or Ohana, so I got to go with the bread pudding. Allison. Uh, I'm going to vote for the lumpia. Both good, but I'm, I'm going to go with lumpia. And Rob. Bread pudding. And, oh, boy, that is, <laughs> the chat definitely <laughs> prefers the wow. bread pudding. I love them both, though. They're, They're both, both so great. good. That's yeah. five, five to two bread pudding over Pangu Pangalum. On to our next matchup. It's going to be the number seven seed, the No seven. Way Jose from Beaches and Cream. Yeah, seven. Against the number 15 seed, the, the Gideon's Chocolate Chip Cookie, the standard. Nick... Because you were Mr. Gideon's. I am what Mr. Do you, what do you, Gideon's. What do you got? But this is against ice cream. It's ice cream. I know, right? This is really hard. But again, I could, I, you know, I could put a scoop of ice cream on a cookie, and it's great. Um, I, I will have to stick with my Gideon's cookies for one more turn at least here okay. against No Way Jose. Really? Sabrina. No Way Jose. Rob. I love Gideon's cookies, but No Way Jose. I am also, yeah, I, I can't live without the No Way Jose. I no. love it. I would love to take a Gideon's cookie and put it in right. the Ooh. No we Way We can Jose. do this. Oh, my God. We just need to, like, get a reservation and then go get a cookie. I'll do anything food-related. I say we do it. We need to do we this. We should have a day where we do uh, random food hacks. 
We should mash like, up like the all these flog. matchups. We should do a bood flog. We should do a bood flog. <laughs> I think we should really do this. Bread service and pork nachos. How good would that <laughs> be? It'd probably be good. <laughs> anyway. If we start combining a couple of these, that's a... Oh, right. man. Yeah. Sabrina. I oh, not Sabrina. Oh, my God. This is the second Desi. time you've called me I'm... Sabrina. Sorry. It's Desi. <laughs> The twin. The glasses, I, I can't, the I sunglasses, know. it's a disguise. You can't tell. The spitting image. Uh, <laughs> no way, Jose. No way, Jose. Allison. No way, Jose. What about the chat? Oh, okay. Is that 50 50 or am I blind? It is. That is 50 50. I'm going to give them a second to figure this out. Before we have to go back to Jason, who's going to tell it's chocolate. <laughs> Did, did somebody not wow. vote? Oh, there we go. No <clears throat> is it, is it going to stay at 50? No. Yeah, no. 51. Is that for real? Yes. Is it really that close? People, I mean, I'm going to give them a couple more seconds just in case someone people has People love voted. Gideon's, and it is delicious. I don't know if everybody's had the No Way Jose that's voting. I would that's, think that's fair. That's fair. Oh, oh. Wait, oh, all right, dang. I'm going to give it a couple more seconds then, because oh I don't know. This is... It's too close to call. Uh -oh, it's it's Florida, it's I close. demand a recap. Oh it's back at 50. Oh, wow. What is happening? Can I? I'm going to vote in the chat. Can I vote? You can, vote. yeah. If you're up here and open the chat, wow. you could vote. vote. Yeah, I mean. Done. I don't know how to do that. Which Again, one? like Rob said, it's Florida. Vote as many times yeah. as you want. Which one is number one? Which one's number two? I don't know. No way Jose is number one. Number one is no way Jose. I mean, I can't move on with the tie. I don't know what to do. Right. How is this possible? Oh, we got a 53. Jump. Gideon's cookie. All right, I'm going to give it one more move. We're going to make sure this holds. <laughs> oh, boy. If this holds, then I will count it. Gideon's. The margin for error is Oh, we're back at 50 <laughs> You, you shouldn't have waited. 50, I mean, 50. we have we have we have it in votes though. We have it anyway, right? Yeah, but super yes. chats can sway it. So. Yeah, but but the voting in the chat means nothing at this point. Super chats are the only thing that can sway. No, it does. A point it, still matters. Yeah. Just give them the. A Gideon's point is cookie. still pretty valuable. I'm gonna. You know what? At this point, we'll give it to the Gideon's cookie since it's down. That makes sense. It's five to two. <laughs> no. No. You know it's said? too close to call. We're giving it to the cookie. Give it to the cookie. It's five to two. It's all right. Did, did it all, all for the cookie. cookie. <laughs> <laughs> you can take that cookie. Uh, it's there 53 it is. for the no way. So has it, it's gone the other way then. Somebody called up their friends. <laughs> it was just 53 for the cookie, though. You can take that cookie oh, and we're shove it on. Oh, All right, it's no way, Jose. All right. Sw swing it over. <laughs> you know, is that we go back to, I think we go back to SpongeBob and Patrick. SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Eric, that last matchup was super close. It went around and around and around. Oh, boy. <laughs> is, the, if this, is this what it's going to be like all night? I just wish that German Pretzel had a song. Maybe it would have stood a chance. Maybe it does, you just can't understand it. I don't, know. I, I don't know. I mean, the German Pretzel's good, but, you know, a pretzel's a pretzel. Yeah, pretzel's but, a pretzel. But, that, uh, you know, when the scores go back and forth like that, it reminds me of going around on a carousel. You're right, Jason. And what better way to buy the things you need than the Carousel of Products? Go to carouselofproducts.com for all your T-shirts, pins, hats, a new house. Perhaps you need an electric car. I think we have those now. Carouselofproducts.com for the best products in the world delivered right to your door. Unless you don't live in the United States. Yes, That's true. That it just will be delivered to your door a little slower. <laughs> and um, there's that shirt, 12 yeah. Flags Over Epcot. 12 fla get your Buy 12 it. Flags Over Epcot shirt today. Uh, this is an interesting show because we've mentioned that thing you do, and several times we're back. So it's like, a, it's like this episode is inside Nick's Maxi Van, but we need to... Ooh, it's, something smells. What's sticky? I'm... It's, the, it's the hummus fries, Eric. <laughs> oh, boy. So uh, we're on to the Food Rocks region, and we have the hummus fries going against the, the beer cheese soup from Epcot. 
Now, these are both from Epcot, so it's a really tough call for me. This is going to be tough for Tom because so far he only knows how to vote for the sit-down restaurant stuff. Oh, yeah, he's not, he's not going to know what to do here. I don't know. Uh, next, you have the Nutella waffle going up against the PB&J milkshake. Oh, now that's a tough one. I bet I know which way Sabrina's going on this one. I mean, they both have nuts. Again, <laughs> only here on WWNT.TV can you find this kind of... Oh, boy. Hard-hitting analysis from Jill Diffendahl, once again. Yeah, just blame Jill. Send all your hate mail. Uh, Mickey Beignets are going up against the Satouli Bowl. Uh, Is that right? Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's oh, right. And here was the one matchup last week that was that, that was upset after the fact by the uh, super chats and and by the viewers. The chicken waffle sandwich from uh, Sleepy Hollow is going to be going against oh Ohana noodles. Ohana noodles. Where's that shirt from? You can get the Ohana means noodles T-shirt right at carouselofproducts.com. When you think of good products and noodles. Think of carouselofproducts.com. Now we're going to send it back down under the rotunda to our panel. <laughs> All right, the next matchup. Are there super chats? Do we have to catch up on super chats? Yes. Okay, this first one looks old. Is this not? That's not nice. Okay. Uh, not to, yeah. I'm not being ageist against Super Chat. <laughs> Is that new? Legal? Isn't that from earlier, too? It looks legal. That's a new one? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that WDW Mickey was from... Uh, a different show. A different yeah. show. Yeah. <laughs> Let me double-check. We're checking. I think Hold that was on. Park Center. Don't worry, we still, we can get the show done in 28 minutes, Nick, I believe in that. In the meantime, Tom, you might want to uh, talk to the Vacationaire people and have them talk to the Carousel Products people. You see, when you charge for your, your products, you make money. <laughs> Nick is just shh, 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 shh. <laughs> It's going to be tomorrow by the time we finish the show. <laughs> We knew it was going to be tomorrow. I want to see if it's going to be next week. <laughs> this, show, this show will come out tomorrow. <laughs> we definitely saw this one. That, yeah, we're, we're catching up. Hold on, we're catching up. I remember waving. That was a super chat, yeah. Piano Rob doing mashups, yeah. The Lo Cicero Bunch, that was a thing. Yep, we got that one. Got that, yeah. Yep. That's new. That's new. Okay. All right. Thank you, thank you, Jake. Round of applause for Jake and Darry in the booth tonight. Looking forward to their spring break starting tomorrow. They're already on it. Right. <laughs> Jake, they're both topless already. You can't see it at all. <laughs> being, uh, it's a health code violation. But My you know where they can get new tops? Right. I've heard they can get new tops from the carousel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what we're doing. All right, the rally taxi. We don't want to go away on the vacation ears. Good night, everybody. <laughs> The Rowdy Texan Abroad 999. My son is being born April 10th, and I can't wait to pretend while we are in the hospital <laughs> that I'm a. What? That I'm in a. That I'm in a engineering Disney Resort here room waiting for my mediocre pizza to be delivered. <laughs> I don't think that's a vote for anything, but thank you, Rowdy Texan Abroad. Uh, goob, <laughs> goob Tube Plus. Ten dollars. I'm torn about y'all taking such a long hiatus. On one hand, I'll miss having the show on every Thursday, but on the other hand, time for y'all to think up halfway decent content. <laughs> wow. It was for 15 years. Why start? <laughs> Love you too. Thanks, mom. Right. <laughs> we got we got more of these. Mike said, Mac 999 for the DSPCA mini kick Pluto right in the front of Centaur. Aww. Aww. Is that, a, is that a play on words like front and center, front and center? Yeah. 
Step into the magic, 499. Bobby, keyboard, harpsichord, <laughs> Rob, playing Wishes Made Me Cry, said Arlo. Aww. 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 Are any of these about March Madness? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, J789. I can't wait for June 1st and the We're Back, a dinosaur <laughs> story <laughs> themed episode. Sam. <laughs> We're on it. Step into the magic, 199. Jason, chocolate chip cookie, not a vote. Ch <laughs> chocolate. Chocolate. Not a vote. Chocolate. Yeah, right still. Sp Division <laughs> 3D, $7. Spike the BAF <laughs> after five. <laughs> I just can't believe someone in the crowd was that mean. Eric starts saying they just go, Spike the BAF. <laughs> someone shouted that at me in a park one day. <laughs> From like 100 feet away, I, I was walking through Epcot and I just hear, Spike the BAF. <laughs> <laughs> There was a three month period where I was at the parks where all I heard was Nemo! <laughs> People just screaming Nemo at me for months. Oh, jeez. Um, Coral! Coral, yeah. Coral. And there's a shirt that you can purchase. There is a shirt you can purchase. <laughs> it's like $10 now because no one bought it. It's fine. Get yours now. Where? Carousel products. Like oh. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said from the vacation here. <laughs> you know. Anthony, Anthony Locanti, 999, Ooh. German pretzel. Oh, okay. Is that tied now? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yes, pretzel. We've been asked to stand by again. They're adding in. Hold on. They need a moment to add it in. Roll out the barrel. <laughs> Every time I hear German pretzel, this is where my brain's been going. Go for it. <laughs> Guten Tag. Skiff Guard 199. <laughs> if you book towards Desi seeing eye dog fun. Aww. You have no idea how Is that Desi? I thought that was Hunter S. Thompson. <laughs> I thought it was Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> They just their skin cone tone is so similar. <laughs> their hair too. Yeah, they the have same. the same color hair. Yeah, right. <laughs> we're like twins. Uh, Ryan Anglin, five nine nine. I yes. like shortcakes and I cannot lie. Rob. Rob. <laughs> I was so curious if that counted as a vote for the shortcakes okay. or not. That's yes. what I was. That was... It it's is. It's nine ninety nine. Yeah. That's a shortcake. Yeah. Back up five to four. I was so in, I was so invested. I wanted you to know where it's staring at your screen like. <laughs> I was like, will somebody tell me what's going on? <laughs> Every other time I'm not even done reading it, you're on it. That time I looked your way and you're just like. <laughs> Don't worry, it's already 11 o'clock. It's fine. Cakes and I cannot lie. JC Bobbitt 199, I bought one of your Epcot Yay. shirts. Thank you, Bobbitt. Thank you. You're the one. Thank you. One. <laughs> 900 to go. <laughs> they could be, they're not free. No, we're not the vacation. We're not the vacationer. Step into the magic one and secrets. Secrets and not bread service training facility. <laughs> That's not enough for a point. All right. Are there more? We have, there's so many more. There's another, yeah, so that's yeah. an important one. Oh, German Dang. pretzel, Ooh. WWE Mickey. Tied That's again. tied again. Ooh. Five to five. It's a stalemate, which is fitting because the pretzel is stale. <laughs> oh, good, and we're done. That's great. So we'll just leave voting open through Super Chats for the pretzel, um, at least through the end of the round. So um, we're going to try to get moving here. Hummus fries against cheese soup. Let's just take the chat vote already. That's over. It's cheese <laughs> They voted cheese soup. Rob? Cheese soup. Nick? Imagine dipping the hummus fries oh. into cheese soup. Oh my goodness. Um, you guys have just invented the Disney food blog. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> um, I, I love I, it. Yeah, I love those fries, but that cheese soup is something special. I'm going to go hummus fries so they don't get 
blown away. Desi? Cheese soup. Allison? Cheese soup as well. Five, five to one for cheese soup. Who didn't vote? Me. Oh, Sabrina. <laughs> Sabrina, so Desi, I'm not Desi right. go ahead. Cheese soup. Cheese soup. Six to one. Pit stop. Pit stop. Pit stop. <laughs> All right, the next matchup is the. Ready? Yeah, six to one. Or five, sorry, yeah, six to one, that's right. Uh, the number 11 seed, the Nutella waffle, against the number three seed, the PB&J milkshake. Sabrina. PB&J shake. I know. No contest. Nick. It is no contest. P, B, and J, shake. I'm P, B, and J, Perfection. shake as yes. well. Desi. I went to Roundup Rodeo Barbecue, and I no longer think that that is the best P, B, and J milkshake at Hollywood Studios. You can leave. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was really good. That's it because was, they had alcohol in theirs, don't they? It was oh, full of peanut butter whiskey. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so is this studio. <laughs> <laughs> So Thanks. I got to go with the Nutella waffle. Wow. Allison. I do like both of them a lot. Uh, but the milkshake is far more unique than the waffle. Yes. And far more delicious. Yes. Waffles. I mean, milkshake, milkshake. Robert? The milkshake. Yes. And the chat. Oh, that is close again. Yeah. What is again, going on? Again, I'm going to argue these are probably people that haven't had the milkshake because I feel if you've had both, you're going milkshake. I think the problem is there's only four people still watching, and so they keep <laughs> hiding. <laughs> Unless you're an you, alcoholic you, like You'd be me, shocked at how many people are watching. Boozy PB&J. All right, that, the PB, PB&J just pulled ahead. That's PB&J milkshake. You can get a boozy one. Six to Microsoft. one, PB and, or, uh, yeah, PB&J over Nutella Waffle. Six to one. The next matchup, we have the number four seed, the Mickey Beignets, against the number five seed, the Satouli Bowl from Avatar, uh, Pandora, the World of Avatar. Allison? Um, I look forward to getting a Satouli Bowl every time I go to Animal Kingdom. I'm voting for the bowl. It's bold of you. No, oh, thank you. It's a good joke. <laughs> Desi? I really appreciate that you can customize the Satouli Bowl, and it can, you know... No matter what diet you're going on, right. there's something for everybody. It's vegan or... You know you can customize the beignets with alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. No, I'm so good with the bowl. Okay. And yeah. they can be gluten-free. This one was, was a hard one. I was going to vote bowl, but now I'm thinking beignets because I, I also like the atmosphere that goes along with going to the French Quarter and getting them. And then, like, it's an experience. Yeah, it's an experience, and then in injecting them with alcohol, that is fun. So, beignets. Yeah. Sabrina? <sighs> you know, the Satouli Bowl took out my cheese. <laughs> <laughs> did it have a good time? <laughs> <laughs> and the, 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 the cheese said the Satouli Bowl kept its hands to itself, so I'm going to vote for Satouli Bowl. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> That's right. It, it was. It's big blue. <laughs> it's big blue hands. It's big blue hands. <laughs> Which, wow. Jake Why is yelling. Jake yelling beignets? Jake, Jake is wound anymore. up. Jake, <laughs> Jake, stand by. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, he can vote in the chat too. Rob, Rob, go ahead. Um, I'm actually, I'm a little surprised. I, beignets, this is one, like the, the beignets, beignets are delicious. Yeah. They are the best, I mean, I, I, this is going to be weird to say, but like dessert of its kind, fried dough covered yeah. in sugar, they're the best at that yeah. anywhere on property. Yeah. Beignets. They're not, they're not that, like, beignets are not easy to make, no. in all fairness. No? There's a, it's a very difficult, because if you do it wrong, they will go flat. The flat, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, like, it really does take quite a bit. You have to get it just right. You can't over stir the batter. You have to have the temperature of your oils just right. So, like, the fact that they do it, and they do it so well speaks So highly. you're changing your votes, Sabrina, properly? No, I really do like the Sedulli Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard, because, again, like... yeah. Last week we talked about the one thing Disney World did better than Disneyland. This is one of the few things they do on an even keel, I think. I think the beignets are as good at French Quarter as they are at Disneyland, mm -hmm. um, which I think says a lot. I'm going to go with the beignets, which ties it, which means the chat yes. has to decide. Ooh. Oh, and there, there are the beignets. Oh. All right. This is beignet a... done that. 
You know, I know the seating is ahead for the beignets, but I'm, I'm still a little spread. But it's close. It could easily be swayed. Yeah. So four to three beignets over Satouli Bulls. All right, one more match before uh, we send it back to the rotunda. Uh, we have the no This is probably the toughest match of the round, I would think. The number nine seed, the chicken waffle sandwich, up against the number one seed, the Ohana noodles. Ohana noodles. Desi. Uh, this is not the toughest one, Ohana noodles. <laughs> well, that's because your husband told you. <laughs> Alice. Uh, this one's easy for me. It's the Ohana noodles. Wow. I don't like spicy things. You don't like spicy I things. I don't like spicy food. <laughs> Rob. Yeah, the, the same thing. There's nothing wrong with the chicken sandwich, but it's the noodles. Wow. Yeah. Sabrina. Noodles. Nick. Chicken and waffle sandwich. I, it's one yeah, of my favorite I was things. For it. <sighs> I love those new. They're the reason I go to Ohana. I, that sandwich, though, legitimately, I will eat that every day at Magic Kingdom. It's fantastic, but I'll, I'll go noodles. It's five to one for noodles. The chat agrees that Ohana means noodles. It's six to one noodles. Noodles over waffle sandwich. I'm sorry, Nick. <laughs> People have spoken. All right, let's send it back to uh, Eric and Jason. Jason, that was... One incredible round. What do you think? That, that, that was crazy. It was on fire. It was on absolutely crazy on fire, like, like your hair could just get on fire. Jason, if your hair were to catch on fire, one way you could address that is the wigs. The WWNT Inner Globe <laughs> Society. Go to www.nt.com slash Patreon or patreon.com slash www.nt. Doesn't really matter which way. And you can join for early access to events, discounts, and more. The WWNT Inner Globe Society. Join Wigs today and fight with people on Discord. <laughs> um, I have to pull a Tom here. I'm re reasonably sure I'm the first person to ever get the, uh, that chicken waffle sandwich from Sleepy Hollow. I remember reading about it and rope dropping Sleepy Hollow when it came out. Did so, you, did you it, read it, about it on, on some website? I have no idea because it was a long time ago. Oh. I thought, I thought you might have read about it on, I don't know, some well-known Disney news. Probably not. No. Probably not. Pro probably just some, like, food blog or WW something. WW News Today. It was <laughs> definitely. <laughs> All right. Um, well, that was pretty cool. We, uh, that, that one of those matchups is pretty close, the Mickey, Beignet, the Mickey Beignets uh, and the Satouli Bowl. Um, but we've got to move on. Time marches on. It's the confectionery region now. First up, we're going to have the Cobb Salad from the Hollywood Brown Derby, and that's going up against the Cheshire Cattail. I mean, they, they both have cat. <laughs> <laughs> God, I convinced everyone I didn't still have bronchitis. <laughs> it's cat with blue cheese. It's different. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, I... <laughs> Come here, uh, Cobb. We have the, uh, the fried chicken from Hootie Doo Review going against the ooey, gooey toffee cake. I mean, that, that toffee cake is something special, I will say that. It's a heavy hitter in the sweet treats area of this bracket, you know. Some of these things depend on how you feel about the dish, might depend on what you're hungry for at that time. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> that's true. Sweet, that, that can make a deep run. All right, we have the Gobi Manchurian, which I saw Tom eat this week. I did. Against the uh, caramel corn from the caramel cooch. <laughs> caramel What's that coochie? across from? Caramel Coochie. Uh, it's by the glass kunst. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that is not a reference to the woman suing Disney for eating glass <laughs> at Cinderella's <laughs> Royal Table. <laughs> That's it. No, we've we need to end now. That's it. And we've we've gone too far. The now. Tonga toast going up against the kitchen sink. Oh, those that's a tough one, man. Those two are both like super sweet. Back down under the rotunda to our panel. How do I recover from that? <laughs> Tom, we got the uh, logo for the event. We have the logo for the event. Yeah. I just don't... Let's distract. Let's distract people. Break out the logo, guys. <laughs> there it is. Wild at 25 and an authorized field trip, April 
21st and 22nd. Uh, 21st for the wigs at Sanaa, 22nd for everybody at Animal Kingdom. Details to follow. So excited. I broke my hand on, the, on this podium when he made that joke. All right. All right. Did they actually recap the great? Let's just do it. <laughs> the number one, number one seed, the Cobb salad against the Cheshire cat tail. Uh, Sabrina, let's get your vote over with. Let's just, <laughs> just go ahead. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and go for the Cheshire cat tail. <laughs> yeah, we know. You hate salad. We know. Okay. No, I'm just not a fan of that one. I'm dare you. Nick? <laughs> I mean, I'm not a fan either, but there's no way that cattail can get into the next round. No, so it's not Cobb going anywhere. Salad. Rob? Cobb salad. I'm going Cobb salad. Desi? I really like the cattail. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this Allison. is why he gets us confused. That's <laughs> why he gets us confused. <laughs> Allison? Um, I love a, 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 a good meal salad. It's a perfect <laughs> meal salad. <laughs> <laughs> What? It's not like a side, like like I'll, there's a side salad and then there's like a I'll meal salad. I'll have the meal salad. You have to have the meal salad. Like a real <laughs> meal, like out of a salad, as opposed to just like a little thing with wilted like stuff on the side. Like you can I really want to So a meal. vote for the meal salad. It's a vote for the meal salad. Meal salad. What is the, does the chat like the meal <laughs> salad? They sure do. That's no, another vote for the yeah, meal salad. Close. Five to two. <laughs> The meal salad right. over the Cheshire cat. I want to hear Lucas tell us the difference between a meal pretzel and a snack pretzel. <laughs> you ever had the minis, the little bag? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's a snack. They pretzel. have to be mini Germany. to be a snack. There's yeah, no... and then Germany's the that's the meal. That's pretzel. the meal pretzel. Yeah. All right. The number five. Please make it end. The number five. Who... I just want you to know that I showed a lot of restraint. Why? I just did. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So, Allison and her salads. <laughs> just make the toss salad joke. It can't be worse than what Eric just said. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, the number five seed, the hoop de doo fried chicken review up against the ooey gooey toffee cake. Allison, why don't you start us off? Uh, I'm going to vote for the fried chicken. They're amazing. Desi. Not even close. Ooey gooey toffee cake all day. I'm with Desi. Ooey gooey toffee cake is, I think it's my favorite dessert on this planet. Nick? All right, just say the name. Ooey gooey toffee cake. I don't it's like so when you fun. say it. <laughs> <laughs> Fried chicken's boring. <laughs> <laughs> Ooey gooey toffee cake. I don't think I can eat it again. <laughs> I, think that's it. I think that's it. Anyway. Uh. I'm just thankful it's not a pie. Sabrina. Ooey gooey toffee cake. <laughs> <laughs> I, broke, I broke Darius. You broke Darius. Darius. Rob! <laughs> Nick, which one am I voting for? <laughs> the ooey gooey no. toffee cake. <laughs> Done. Done. It, it almost makes me not want to do it, but I know where to go it. How about the... Fried chicken. Yeah, it's not the same. Right, it's, not, it's not the same. It's not the same. I'm not good. The same. <laughs> I'm good. I don't know anyone. Is that five, five to one, I think? What did the chat, the chat also vote? What did the chat vote for? <laughs> what did they vote for? They voted for the ooey, gooey <laughs> toffee cake. Oh, God. Why is this? Six to one for the no. ooey gooey toffee cake. No. Just sticks to my hand. Oh. 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 oh man, is it bad that I want ooey gooey toffee cake yes. to win? <laughs> That's very I want bad. it to go all the way to number one just so oh. I can hear Nick repeat it over and That's over how, again. That's how the bobsleds won. So. Is it really? Oh jeez. All right, the number 14th. Why I'm not is... sleeping tonight. The number 14th. No, that's because we'll be on till morning. The number 14th seed, the Gobi Manchurian, up against the number six seed, the caramel corn from the caramel coot. I'm going to stop saying it. Oh, boy. Desi, start us off. Caramel corn. Allison. Um, this I'm going to vote for the Gobi Manchurian, actually. They're both very good. I just had the Gobi the other day, and it's, it was a good reminder of how delicious it is. It was a great, 
Great midday park snack. I loved it. That's my vote. Nick? Yeah, I do like things that make my hands sticky, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to go Gobi Manchurian. The Gobi there. would make your hands sticky, too. Yeah, well, I use a fork for that. Uh, not a spoon? Anyway. Sabrina? Um, you know, I'm going to go Gobi Manchurian. Wow. Not wow you. I mean, I'm just surprised at it. <laughs> Rob? I'm going caramel corn. Oh, there we go. Three, two. It's uh, four, two. Mm. Or, oh, four two. Uh, let's see what the chat has. The chat is going for the caramel corn. Yeah. No surprise. Yeah. But that is, as of right now, that is a huge upset. That's four to three. Gobi over caramel corn. Wow, I'm surprised. Could be overturned. Right. Don't with Nick up here. Don't talk about turning things over. <laughs> All right, no. Next up is Tonga oh, Toast. Gee. The number ten seed, the Tonga Toast from the Polynesian against the Kitchen Sink from Beaches and. Cr I don't know what that is. is you it? said the special word. <laughs> <laughs> you won 10 core bucks. <laughs> At this point, a Nick game would make more sense than whatever the hell we're doing right now. Uh, uh, it was easier to follow that murder mystery than the smart man. <laughs> Nick, why don't you start us off? Tonga Eric Toaster Kitchen. Talk about this one. What happened? Eric didn't talk about this one. It's okay, we'll live. It's okay. No, they did this one. They said it was sweet. They, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you get worried about Jake. Okay. Jake, Jake hasn't slept since the beginning of the season. <laughs> He's just... yeah, Nick, this kitchen sink or Tonga Toast? Um, I am, I, I am going Tonga Toast. I, what? I it's not ice cream. I know it's not. I'm going against what I said last time. But Tonga Toast is just perfection. It's so good. Sabrina. And the Tonga toast threatened me. <laughs> Sitting here watching you. A Tonga toast. Gotcha. For one of us, you'll vote for toast. <laughs> Desi. I got very ill from the kitchen sink, so I'm going Aww. with Tonga toast. Aww. Allison. Yeah, Tonga. I love ice cream, but I have to vote for the Tonga this toast. This is an upset, yeah. man. Is it, Rob? Come on. You know, it's just, it's just not right. I mean, the other one's an event. Even though it's not even my favorite thing from there, but we got to give the, the sink some love. I, I agree with Rob, so I'm voting for that. It's, f it's still four to two, Tonga Toast over Kitchen Sink. Five. Uh, and the chat has gone Five for the two. Tonga Toast yeah, I'm as surprised. well. Okay. Five to two. That's a big upset, man. I don't think so. Tonga Toast it's, it's, is pretty it's good. famous. I it's mean, pretty it is, solid. but like the Kitchen Sink is an event. The lights go off. And, mm. Yeah, there's a, I think there's a whole can no of something. Way Jose, well, I had to try to eat a oh, then it's, if we were voting No Way Jose against Kitchen Sink, it's No Way yeah, Jose. Yeah. But yeah. All right, back to is Jason awake? Let's find out. <laughs> he said the lights go off. That is Nick's favorite phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Eric, we are three quarters of the way through this uh, this bracket. Well, this round of the bracket, and then I guess uh, we're we're going to wrap it up real soon. It feels like you know the, the weekend wrap up. That's true, Jason. And you know what better way to wrap up the week in Disney news than to watch Park Center here on WWNT.TV every Sunday night. Rob Whiteside and his panel of experts discuss the latest breaking Disney news and the largest stories of the week right here on WWNT TV every Sunday night. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about this last, last portion of the bracket here. So there's some, there's some big ones in this one now. We've got the Dole Whip and the Burger Spring Roll. Cheeseburger. The, the cheeseburger, cheeseburger Spring Roll. Cheeseburger Spring Roll. It just says burger. I know, that Pangani Forest Exploration Trail Sunday didn't fit on the signs at Animal Kingdom either, but. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, this is one of the 19 Dole Whips that were in this tournament, so I'll be oh, interested God. to see if it can make a deep run. It is a number, suit, number two seed. It, it, well, this is the original, right? You can't, you can't argue with the original. You can't argue with the original. Then we've got the Ronto Wrap versus the Mickey Waffle. Oh, boy. Yeah, the something frozen and shipped in versus something frozen and shipped in. Anybody could win this one. <laughs> It's a toss-up for me. Speaking of frozen and shipped in, zebra domes are going to be up next against That's the carrot incorrect. cake cookie. I mean, they're both sweet. They are both sweet. Neither one of them contain cats. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. <laughs> Very true. And then finally, we've got the spicy honey crispy chicken 
versus the Mickey ice cream. Is that the ice cream bar, I assume? Yeah, that is the... Uh, it didn't fit. Bar didn't Correct. That's not okay. the sandwich. That is the Mickey ice cream bar. Uh, this, this could be an exciting matchup. Some people really are into Nine Dragons. I don't know why. I mean, well, only one of those two is at Epcot, so that's an easy one for me. <laughs> that's what people are here for, Jason. You to tell them what's at Epcot. Let's take it down to the panel under the, under the rotunda. We have Super Chats. Is this a new one? Uh, the uh, WWE Mickey $10 for the Germany pretzel. Oh. That puts that one ahead. That does put that one ahead. Where is that on my oh. sheet? I gotta go find Lucas it. Lucas is gonna be so disappointed. And that's against he's, the other. Uh, he's gonna talk to the me about the strawberry shortcakes. That's six yeah. to five right home. now. He's gonna go home. We got talk any more? Well, hold on one second. Hold on. Trying They're trying to figure it out. How about some? Got some food rocks? Oh, you can always do food rocks. I'm talking about good nutrition. It's not just a superstition. Bop, bop. Good nutrition. Bop, bop. Take the high part. Good, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> this would have been the perfect opportunity for you to rewear your costume. Oh, it'd be food wrapper again? Yeah. I was food wrapper for Halloween. I should have had more. I should have more of these up. We'll pull more up. Why not? I wore my Halloween costume last week. Did, oh yeah, you did. I missed the Halloween episode. I did heard you? Toodles was here though. Oh. <laughs> Very funny. Everybody you take and every cake you bake every milk you shake every egg you break will be part of you every single dish and every breaded fish every fried goodness like a secret wish is a part of you are we ready how are we doing back there? We got it. We got it. Oh, okay. boo. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> Thank you for getting to the Kanish part. That's all that matters. All right. Do we have more super chats? Yeah. Oh, we do. Okay. Ooh. Strawberry. <laughs> John M99 for strawberry cake. I guess that's the short cake. He didn't want. He didn't short. have enough space. So that's six. <laughs> six to six. He was short on letters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, not happening. Okay, I like this one. Mickey beignets. Uh, Bill Fair, nine nine nine. Save the Mickey beignets. That Mickey beignets were already winning, so that's five to By three. By one. Yeah, and that gives it a good margin. Yeah. We've seen how the Satuli Bowl does. <laughs> wow. Is that it? One little thing. Okay. Uh, J.C. Bobbitt, beignet all days, beignets all days. God. Uh, that's another one for the beignets. They're now six, uh, six to, three. to three. Yeah, that's a commanding lead. Oh. But there's yeah. one, Natalie Moppert, for the Satuli Bowl. Yay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Not to the bowl, but to Natalie. <laughs> the bowl's birthday is on May 27th. <laughs> Not like they don't keep them there, but the idea of the bowl. <laughs> Uh, SFOT Beignets. News, ten dollars. Beignets, B. Be <laughs> I don't know what that means, but Beignet gets Beignets. another one. Beignets. Beignets. Yeah. Beignets. Seven to four. And then Mike said, "Mac for the kitchen sink." What does that do to that? That's five to That's three, three now. Ooh. Don't call it a comeback, because it may not be. <laughs> we got it. All right. So we're going to move on to our next matchup then, if we're ready, which is going to be the number two seed, the Dole Whip, against the number mm. 10 seed, the Cheeseburger Spring Roll. Nick, you look ready to weigh in on this one. Go ahead. I am very ready. Those, I, those Cheeseburger Spring Rolls are absolutely greasy and delicious and yummy, and I will get those every time over a Dole Whip. Sabrina. 
you know, I'm I'm torn on this one. Um, You're from the same but, land. I know, but maybe it's just because That's I'm true. actually really hungry right now. I just want spring rolls. Right? Yeah. yeah. Ground one. Yeah. Spring rolls. Spring rolls. Rob. Don't spring rolls, and I'm voting for it in the chat right oh, now. Wow. wow. Look at this. This is three nothing already, Allison. Wow. I don't understand why everybody loves these burger spring rolls. Because so we're much. very unhealthy. I <laughs> yeah. Look at us. The dipping sauce. Oh. I mean, the dollop isn't the greatest thing in the entire world, but it's definitely better than the spring rolls. I'm voting Dole Whip. Desi. I am also going with Dole Whip. It's delicious. It, it is, is delicious. Like and when refreshing. I think of Disney snacks, Dole Whip is the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, and. Yeah, those burger spring rolls are greasy and gross. I you hate... You just described me in high school. Like, <laughs> I hate the Dole Whip, but I have, like, PTSD over the cheeseburger spring rolls and everything from that cart. I'm going Dole Whip. What, what sort of sorted go. past do you have with these spring rolls? They were monthly ones for a while. There was, like, pepperoni. Oh, and like, yeah, I yeah. What was the one it. with beef? Oh, there they're was the a Philly cheese Philly steak cheese one? steak. The, the oh, Reuben yeah. ones were good. Oh, that was gross. Oh. So it's tied three to three. What is the chat? The chat says Dole Whip. Yeah. Four to three Dole Whip. I ain't mad about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thanks, Sabrina. You're welcome. <laughs> We're all waiting to hear so we can move on to the next match. I do what I can. Are we on? Oh, I'm, there we go. I was frozen for a while. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the next matchup is the uh, number 11 Ronto Rap against the number three Mickey Waffle. Rob? This, one, this one's harder. Uh, I'm going to go Ronto Rap. Sabrina. I'm going to go Ronto Rap as well. Nick. I am really on the fence on this one. Um, Ronto Rap's good, but it's not great. And, like, you brought up a good point. You know what's going to sway me? That the Walt Disney World version isn't as good as so the Disney World. So we try. And, oh, so Mickey Waffle. I'm with Nick on this. The Ronto Rap's better at Disneyland. Don't get it here. So that's, that's a vote for Mickey Waffle. Desi. Oh man, this is this is super tough because I really like them both. Mm -hmm. um, I will go with the Mickey Waffle just because when I think of Disney two, snacks, two. it's Dole Whip and then Mickey Waffle. So you're voting Mickey Waffle? Yeah. Okay. So that's three for Mickey Sorry, Waffle. Sorry, I couldn't hear over them trying to figure on the back what the score was. <laughs> but I like them both. So Allison. Hold on, we're three Ronto Rap. No, no, three Waffle, three two waffle. Ronto Rap. You're back. Yes. yes. Yes, and I'll take a Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Allison. <laughs> Allison, please. I, 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 I want to go home. I don't, I don't really like... Uh, I'm the waffle. Don't waffle on this. Can I change my vote to the round two round? No, you're already in. That's it. No you're in. No waffle. It's four to two for the waffle, but then in the chat... I knew, but... Well, that's close. Ooh, that's what I was thinking. I would. I'm gonna let my it. Vote. I'm gonna let it sway one more time. The They're not gonna be 50-50. Watch. Now that I said that. Uh -huh. Let's see. Ah! You know. <laughs> show me the way to go home. Tune into Deep in the Plus May 3rd. We've got. We're going to talk about The Mandalorian Season 3. It's not even over yet. That's why I said May, May 3rd. 3rd. Is that when it's over? Nick, don't forget about it. Now it's oh, for I the will. waffle. We got to see one more time. I got to see this update one more time. It's like tennis where you got to get two points. Once you're tied, so like, no. Is that how tennis works? <laughs> I don't know sports. I think that's how tennis works. Do, 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 do. See, this is why we should have had food to enjoy, but Tom kept yeah. saying nope. I didn't say no to anything. I yeah. thought you were going to make lumbia today. Yeah, what happened? Huh. Uh, I am. I got all the ingredients in the back. <laughs> I was going to make them for the final four. 
I mean, that's not moving. I think we're just, oh, come on. 50-50. <laughs> Jake, Jesus! How much whiskey did Jake have? How much have of the green there? beer did he drink? <laughs> See, right back. He's giving it to the waffle. He's giving it to waffle. Jake said the waffle, so right, waffle. We'll okay. Okay. Five two. Waffle, waffle. Five five to two waffle. Okay, next matchup. Let's go. Come on, <laughs> places to go. I gotta leave the country. Uh, zebra <laughs> number four. Zebra domes against the carrot cake. Cook. God, this is like picking children. I can't do this. Rob. I can do it. Mm. <laughs> Zebra domes. Sabrina. Carrot cake cookie. All day, every day. Nick. They both have zebra in them, but the, <laughs> but the zebra domes hide it better, so the zebra domes. <laughs> Allison. Zebra domes. Tessie. Carrot cake cookie. Oh my goodness. Anything with cream cheese frosting, I am in. Yes. Uh, you know, I love both of these, but the That's carrot cake cookie's point. been in my life longer, so I'm going to go with the carrot cake cookie. Yes. It's a classic. Iconic, if you will. Let's, oh, let's see the rules. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, the carrot cake cookie's winning. It's four to three oh, carrot right. cake cookie. All right. Yes. All right, last matchup of this round. Thank you. <laughs> it's the... Spicy, honey, crispy chicken up against the Mickey ice cream bar, the premium Mickey ice cream bar. Allison. Mickey ice cream. I know, it's not spicy. It's not spicy. Desi. I love spicy. I love spicy. I'm going with spicy, honey, crispy chicken. I'm sorry. For Josh, I'm going with the spicy, honey, crispy chicken. Nick. Yeah, the Mickey ice cream bar isn't even good ice cream, so the honey, crispy chicken. I like chicken. the bar, it's too. Fine. It, it's fine. No, there's no, no. Sabrina. If I don't choose the Mickey ice cream bar, my mother will disown me. <laughs> Do you want her to? It's tempting. She doesn't watch the show anyway. <laughs> her and the vacationer. <laughs> <laughs> what are you picking? Spicy honey crispy chicken. <laughs> oh, disowned. Rob. She, doesn't, she doesn't even watch the show. Wow. Who we I don't know where to go here. The twist is your mother is the vacation. Right. <laughs> Her services are free. Wow. 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 Rob, please roll. I, I, ice cream. <laughs> he wants to get on Sabrina's mom's good side. That's right. Hey. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Joe, shut up. <laughs> God. What did the chat have to say? Ice cream. It's four to four to three. <laughs> Spicy honey chicken over ice cream. We have more. Oh, oh God. Back to SpongeBob and Patrick. <laughs> Welcome back to the Boston Studios. That was a surprising <laughs> round with uh, some minor upsets there, Jason. Oh, there's a big upset. That spicy honey crispy chicken is making a deep run for it. You know what else is deep? Deep in the plus on WWNT.TV. <laughs> Every Wednesday night, join Rob Whiteside and his band of special guests to discuss movies, good movies, bad movies, mostly bad movies. You watched last night's episode where we discussed Tron. Guess what? Bad movie. Still <laughs> recommend it. That's the kind of analysis you get on WWNT.TV. I was a little surprised in that round. Um, you know, the, the honey chicken making that run. Uh, Desi remarked that anything with cream cheese frosting is good, which explains why Desi's favorite food is Tony's chicken parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I, I, don't, I don't even know why you would eat anything other than Tony's chicken parmesan when you're in the mood for cream cheese frosting. <laughs> Nick, stop giving Cream cheese beer. frosting, the official frosting of Nicholas Cicero. <laughs> So now we're moving on. We, we're like, I don't know. We got to go to a whole nother round. The I thought this was next week. The Sweet and Savory 16. There's no more episodes. We close this out tonight. Are the, are the results in? Are we final on the last round? Are there Super Chats? Well, I don't know. I have some concerns about one of the matchups. They're checking the Super Chat. They're checking, so we'll, <coughs> we'll be back in half an hour. <laughs> You'll be back. <laughs> I won't be back in half. Well, Jason, I won't. I won't even be here in half an hour, Jason, Eric. are we missing anything? I, I can tell you this. Did we, did we miss I'm, any food? I'm missing sleep, I'll tell you that right now. 
You look like it. <laughs> that is the dad joke of the week if I heard one. <laughs> Or did we miss any food? Did we? Jill and I talked last week a little bit about foods we might have missed. Duck! <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> wow, finally a framework works. <laughs> well, actually, Eric, I was eating lunch at Gasparilla Grill just the other day. Times are tough, huh? It, oh yeah, oh yeah. They have. There's a. There's a. Inflation is going crazy out there. Jason's eating at Gasparilla Grill. I. Uh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. But but they've got an Italian sandwich, like an Italian sub, that was absolutely phenomenal. Unbelievably good. And it didn't even make it, I don't even think it made it into consideration. No, of course not. It did not. So that, that I think, is one thing that, this, uh, that we're missing here. Yeah, I've, some people have talked about, like, the different bacon dishes at Jock's, but I think those are always seasonal, right? The bacon of doom and the temple of bacon and all those things. I think because those are seasonal, maybe they didn't make the list. I think they're incredible. They're fun to, for yeah. to play with. Same thing with the ganasserie with their pinatas and all that. Kind I of mean, stuff. and then you've got the issue with, like, the, the multiple Gideon's cookies. Like, the chocolate chip is not my favorite Gideon's cookie. The, the coffee cake one is by far my favorite. No, I think Tom had to draw a really hard line there that when you go to a place that has the same thing multiple times of different flavors, that you don't do that unless it's the Dole Whip, in which case, bring them all on, the coconut <laughs> Dole Whip, the citrus swirl, it doesn't matter. Well, but Eric, the, the, I, don't, I mean, Tom had to draw a hard line. Speaking of things that are hard. Third oh. grade, brought to you by WWNT. We are anxiously anticipating some results here. I think we have them. Do, Correct. We need to figure out who's going to get Sanaa bread service because we had a very close matchup between straw strawberry shortcake and that puzzlingly disgusting Germany pretzel. Uh, so what are the final results on that one? It's still tied, right? It's it's tied. Oh, we're so just the two of you have to decide. Oh, oh we have to, have to decide. Look, uh, in my opinion, to be the, the best food, you have to be the best of your type on property. The baseline tap house pretzel is far and away superior to the German pretzel. Don't you agree? Absolutely, I agree. I had one just last week, and it was excellent. So I don't know why you would vote for the German pretzel over any pretzel, let alone anything else. Yeah, and the strawberry shortcake, while I'm not a strawberry shortcake person, it is unique. It does, as Tom pointed out, have its own song that doesn't involve German words. I think... I think I have to go with the strawberry shortcake. It's iconic. I'm going with the strawberry shortcake. And there you have it. Strawberry shortcake is on to the sweet and savory 16. It's going to go up against the Sanaa bread service. Am wow. I okay, Jake? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the Ohana bread pudding uh, is then going to go against the No Way Jose. That's going to be a tough one, mostly because they're both sweet. They are both sweet. And uh, one, one of them is fruit. from near Epcot. One of them is from near Epcot. But you, but, uh-oh. Uh-oh, do we have Super Chat swaying this important competition? Is that, I'm getting in my ear from the booth. Way up the, oh, it's the, from the Goodyear blimp, they're spotting Super Chats <laughs> falling from the sky. What do we have, Jake? I can if they pop up. Thank you. The noise did it. Very cut to Tom Corliss on Living the Living the dream, $10 for the Ronto wrap. Does that even make a difference? Well, that's a valiant effort, but. Five to three. We just need three more. <laughs> this is a lot of math happening. <laughs> Uh, Brian Scott Patterson, 1999. Disneyland and Hollywood Studios, Ronald Raps Unite in the fight against the flaccid, doughy, stale, boring <laughs> Mickey Waffle. That's two points. That's two, two points, points for the Ronto, for the Ronto. Rap. Plus an extra wow. penny. <laughs> and one penny. <laughs> you know, the Ronto Wrap is one of the only foods on this list that you can have for breakfast and lunch. Breakfast version is good, too. Where is the Ronto Wrap? Jason has prepared a Ronto wrap for your entertainment this evening. That ties that, right? That's 5-5. Five, five. Cat Calico, 4 dollars That doesn't count. 4 is not enough for the spicy honey crispy chicken. I mean, that's a, it's like half a point, but it doesn't really matter. 
But Joan Tuzin, a $9.99 Mickey Mouse Premium Ice Cream Bar, that ties that matchup. Oh. If someone puts $4.99... In for the uh, spicy honey, spicy crispy, honey chicken. crispy chicken will count. Really? We're going to start letting people combine? They can. Don't be. It's like, yeah, the, <laughs> don't audience, be classist. the audience can work together, Eric. Come on. It's all money, Eric. <laughs> It's yeah, I'm gonna money. I'm gonna combine and know what you join the WWNT Inner Globe Society on Discord. You can coordinate your votes. <laughs> oh, there's another one for the ice cream. Wow. Oh, it must be an Android user. Look at that. <laughs> Ten dollars flat. Oh, there's Kate there's... with one for Josh. Oh, ties it up. Now it's tied again, but the spicy honey crispy chicken is kind of ahead by a half a point. It just needs another five dollars. It needs, yeah, it needs, it can't count out the five. Up oh, there. Oh, no. Joan for the ice cream again. That's six to five ice cream over. <laughs> that is Katie's family. Katie's yeah. Sabrina's mom. Yeah. <laughs> they together are the vacation here. Uh oh, well, it looks like we had the, uh, the spicy honey crispy chicken. I thought was going oh, deep phone. in this. It's turned out to be. Super chat. <laughs> turned out to be uh, an upset. That did not actually happen. Jason. Hold on, there's one more. Oh, there's, there's... oh, boy. What is it? The anticipation is killing me. Mickey Waffle. Steve Woods, $10 for the Mickey Waffle. We even have our own at home, he said. That puts the waffle ahead of the Ronto wrap. Wow. Somebody just made a very audible song uh, in the audience. It's going to change. But... Can we get somebody to vote on the strawberry shortcake and pretzel? Is that still in? <laughs> no, they decided it. It's oh, okay. yes, strawberry shortcake. I didn't know. Everything else is still being decided, so. There's yes. one more yes, vote. Yes, but I, I think it's going to change in a second. <laughs> Why did you As vote? As they announced matches, that? that's it. So that's the cutoff. So we're oh. currently at bread pudding against Lumpia. Can you make that final? Let's go down the list. You have to announce the results to make them final. Okay, so. Well, 9.99 Ronto Wrap. There's one for Ronto Wrap from Chris Lombard. That's it. We're stopping it. No more super chats. That's it. No more money. We hate money. Are you the vacation here? <laughs> oh, man. Wait, doesn't that tie that? Red Pudding no. has beat the Lumpia. Six to six, right? Yep, it will be matching up against the No Way Jose. Announce these all before they change. Come on. Uh, all right. Now, now, briefly, I need to make an apology. I did sort of suggest that Mickey waffles are frozen. Obviously, they're made fresh in front of you, and then you're forced to wait 45 minutes before you can eat one. So no one's ever had a fresh one, but I'm curious what they taste like. Go ahead, Jason. <laughs> all right. Now, we've got the No Way Jose going up against... Uh, oh, that's going up against the Ohana bread pudding. Yep. Then we've got the cheese soup, which is the Epcot favorite, up against the PB and J milkshake. How are you feeling on that one? I assume the uh, Epcot, right? Oh, absolutely, no question about it. I mean, they're both drinkable, but the Epcot one <laughs> takes, takes has the uh, advantage there. <sighs> Nothing is more entertaining than giving Jason Diffidal a straw and handing him a bowl of hot cheese soup. <laughs> oh, and then uh, next, we're going to have the Mickey beignets up against the Ohana noodles. That shouldn't be a tough one, but I guess I've been wrong before. After that, looks like we're going to have that Cobb salad from the Hollywood Brown Derby going up against the filet slider. No, the ooey gooey. Sorry. The, the ooey gooey. Really what? Well, how to get the right. what? We have no idea where that even came from. Technology, folks. <laughs> but anyway, that ooey gooey, that's going deep. I could, I could, I could see that. Oh, then you've got the uh, the Gobi Manchurian up against the Tonga Toast. All bets are off there. Of course, obviously. Next, we're going to go. Where do we go to the to the uh, what's that bracket called? The is this the uh, confectionery bracket, right? The Dole Whip. Let's give up on it. The Dole Whip versus the Ronto Wrap. Versus the ro Ronto Wrap. And finally, in the uh, starring roles uh, bracket, we're going to have the... Uh, the Carrot Cake Cookie versus the Mickey Premium Ice Cream Bar. Who knows? Some of these things you can buy at Publix. Go see your local grocer. We take it back to the panel under the rotunda. All right, we're going. We're on to the next round. Here we go. 
The first matchup we have is the Sanaa Bread Service against the Strawberry Shortcake. Robert. Oh, you're starting with me. Yep. Rob, just look down. No, I know, I know. Let me it's, think, let me think. It's right there on your shirt, Rob. I'm still going to, uh, uh, bread service. Okay, bread service. Sabrina? I mean, I think I have to go with the only item that has a song. <laughs> you are the worst. <laughs> the actual worst. Thank you. Uh, my mother would probably agree with you on that. Uh, so I'm going shortcake. Rob, quickly write a song for bread service. <laughs> Nick. No. Na 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 bread service. Bread service. Bread service. Can't vote for strawberry. You know what I'm voting for? I do love the strawberry shortcake, but bread service. Desi? I have not voted for the strawberry shortcake yet, so it definitely does not stand a chance against the Sana bread service. Allison. Bread service all the way. That's five to one. The chat is going service. for bread service. It is love, it is life. It is six to one over the shortcake. All right. All right, next up, our next matchup, we have the uh, Canada cheese soup. Nope. 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 I can't read my handwriting. It's bread <laughs> It's Oana. Oana bread pudding. God, my They must be bad. so close. The letters Ohana are very bread close. I could pudding. see how you mixed that up. Oana <laughs> bread pudding. <laughs> Against the no way, Jose. Jose. Uh, Allison, why don't you throw us off? The no way, Jose is one of my favorite ice cream concoctions ever. Desi. Ohana bread pudding, I would take that to number one. It is probably my favorite thing at Walt Disney World. Nick. Uh, mostly because I want bread versus bread in the next <laughs> round. The bread pudding. Yeah. Sabrina. I'm going bread pudding. Wow. Rob. I love both of these so much. No way, Jose. Oh, come on, bread versus bread. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the No Way Jose so much. I'm picking the No Way Jose. Oh. Oh. The noodles are the best thing in Ohana, not, not, no. the, not the bread pudding. Yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> if, if you thought people the noodles got upset, have a shirt. <laughs> if you thought people got upset over the noodles, try taking away the bread service. People would riot. You mean the bread? You mean the bread, bread pudding. pudding? Sorry, bread versus bread. It's oh on my God. mind. Take away the bread service. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Top oh, of the, the resort. The chat. Ooh. The chat went bread pudding. So that's four to three. You might see bread your pudding bread over Noel Jose. You might get your bread on bread action. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, somebody's gonna be toast. Uh, <laughs> it's all bread. The final four is gonna be all bread. I know. Oh no. It's my dream. <laughs> <laughs> that's not your dream. No, it's not. We but know that. that. What's the next one? But they made a deal with Toasty over there. Soup and peanut. Toasty, and is that the name now? Toast, toasty the Toast. Uh, the can <laughs> Canada cheese soup against the P, B, and J milkshake. Both are drinkable. Mm, both Rob. Are drinkable. Uh, P, B, and J milkshake. Yeah. Sabrina. P, B, and J. Nick. Cheese soup. I'm going P, B, and J milkshake. I love that thing. Desi. Cheese soup. Allison. I think the P, B, and J milkshake might go all the way to the top, too. I'm going to say that right now. I'm going to vote for the milkshake. It's not even the alcoholic version. You can make it an alcoholic <laughs> version. We're not saying you can't. You can make any of these the alcoholic version. <laughs> really. Yeah. Everyone on this show is the alcoholic <laughs> the, version of themselves. So the I mean. beer cheese soup has it, the beer right does. there in it. But they cook it off. <laughs> but I put more in after I order it. <laughs> That's four to two. What the chat? The chat likes the soup. Four to three. PB and J wow. milkshake Woo. over Could the cheese swayed. soup. Next matchup, please. What do we got? Because I my I think, sheet's all wrong. I think at we have this noodles, and noodles and Mickey, beignets. Mickey beignets against Ohana means noodles. Desi. Ohana means noodles. <gasps> unless Alice. it goes up against the bread pudding. How dare you, Allison? <laughs> noodles. Nick. I, I'm voting mostly with savory, but I'm going with the sweet one here. Mickey beignets again. Sabrina. Noodles. Rob. Noodles. Yeah, I'm going noodles. Five to one, noodles over beignets. Next, no, this can't be the matchup. What is This the, isn't fair. What's the super chat there? What, can we see the next match? Oh, did we not take that? No, we didn't do, uh, we didn't do that. Yeah, uh, beignets. It's five to two, though. 
Sorry, my fault. Beignets beat noodles in the chat? That's no. No, it just switched. Nope. Oh, switched. wait a minute. Hold on. It flip flop. Give it one more. You give them enough time. I, oh, okay. We've been here all night. It's they've had, they've had more than enough flop. time. We have a half hour? Yeah. I'm calling it for the noodles. <laughs> six, six to one noodles over beignets. Wow. It's close, but it, it wasn't in the panel voting. Can we see the next matchup? No, it's Ooh, 50, 50, 50 again. 50. Right, we're moving on. I'm we're you're moving, moving on. on. It wasn't close. We're moving on. Oh, this is tough. Why? Why are you doing this to me? The Brown Derby Cobb salad against the... The ooey, <laughs> ooey toffee cake. What, what are you playing? You can leave your hat on by Joe Cocker. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I'm going to go first. Cobb salad, it is... It's been around forever. It is the trademark of the restaurant. It's the oldest thing left at Hollywood Studios, for that matter. <laughs> it's the only original attraction left. I'm going with the uh, Cobb. No, they still have time. a Mickey waffle there on Prime the bottom time. of the shelf. I'm going first. Prime time and it's fried chicken. Yeah. And it's PB&J shake. You get fried chicken anywhere. Boy, who do you? Yeah, I don't know. Right. Sabrina, go ahead. Vote for your uh, toffee. Yes. <laughs> ooey gooey toffee cake. The ooey. That's the one. Gooey toffee cake. Can I assume that's, that's your vote, one. Nick? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rob. I would like to go with the meal salad. <laughs> Rob? Rob the cob. Rob. <laughs> 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 God. God bless us. Desi. Uh, I'm having a hard time deciding. Nick, what do you think? I think you should go with that. Meal <laughs> salad. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh-wee. Gooey. Should I get out of the way? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Toffee yeah. cake. I mean, that's pretty persuasive. I gotta go with the toffee cake. Yeah. Yes, toffee cake. Oh, so, do you need any help? Uh, no, I'm good, Nick. Meal the cob. Meal, meal the cob. <laughs> meal the cob. Meal, meal the cob. Yeah. Salad. Cob salad. Meal the cob. <laughs> What is it? Oh, the chat, why? Yeah. <laughs> why are you doing this to us? So they can hear. <laughs> they can hear. They Nick want to. I'm having a hard time seeing this. Nick, can you tell what's ahead right now? Yeah, uh, Desi, they're voting for no. the ooey, <laughs> ooey toffee cake. Oh boy, four to three toffee cake. This is not going to be as funny when we rewatch it. <laughs> what's the next? No, it's not. It's going to be amazing. What's the, God, That's what's the next? Rewatch it. My I poor cob salad. It. Someone please super chat the cob. Super chat for the meal. The meal <laughs> salad. The Gobi Manchurian against Tonga Toast. Uh, I'm going Gobi Manchurian. I think the Tonga Toast is overrated. I think the Gobi is one of the best dishes in all of Walt Disney World. Fight me on it. Desi. I will fight you on it. Tonga Toast. Allison. The Gobi Manchurian. Thank you. Rob. Tonga Toast. Sabrina. Tonga Toast. Nick. First of all, the Tonga Toast is not overrated. You can't say that. It's, it is it's at, mostly it's bread. Exactly. And, <laughs> and, and cinnamon. Sure. Uh, but Gobi Manchurian, for sure. It's the hidden gem. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm going for. But I know this, this chat ain't going to go with this. Oh, it's 50 50. Are they? Yeah, I'd be stunned if they do. I'm going to give them a moment. You want to go super chat while they're uh, vote? Yeah, no, we we'll do them at the end. No. Let, let's let them build for all the matches at this point. Tonga Toast. Oh, that's, oh, not, that's even not even close. close. Yeah. yeah, that's what we figured was going to happen. Yeah. So that's, that's four good. to three for Tonga Toast. That could be swayed as well. We'll come back, I'm sure, to that. The next matchup, please. Because I don't even know what's in it. Go Whip and Ronto Wrap. Yeah. Did the Ronto Wrap win? Is that yeah, what happened? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so it is the Dole Whip versus the Ronto Wrap. Nick? We got to get the Dole Whip out of this competition. Let's go Ronto Wrap. You literally just voted against the Ronto Wrap last round. I know I did. It's a case-by-case -case basis. Sabrina? It is a case-by-case -case basis. That's why I'm going with Dole Whip. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Rob. I'm never going to get on the Dole Whip train, right. Ronto Wrap. Yeah. Desi. 
I'm the conductor of the dole up train. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you even see out the window? Do you know where the train's going? <laughs> dole whip. That's right. Allison. Straight into Adventureland. Well. I, I can't believe the Ron Trap has gone this far. Me neither. I don't understand. Dole whip. I'm going to take the pathetic, dry Disney World Ronto wrap just because I hate the dole whip. Is that tied? That's tied. We gotta see what the chat. Of course, the chat is tied because that's how tonight's going. Well, yeah. I mean, super, super chat got Ron. Oh wait, hold on. No, it just swung. Hang on. It just we'll swung see. hard in one direction. <laughs> when Stop you giggling. see a doll, you <laughs> must whip it. What was that? What so was I don't know what just. That? We just went to a green room for some reason. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. I have a whole song about doll whips. No, it's all right. You, you do. It's okay. Should Dole we sing it now? No, Dole Whip wins. Yeah, four to three. Yeah. <laughs> Should we sing it now? Yes. No, we got to move on. There's a dance, too. We, we got to move on. Yeah, it's Tuesday. I'm not doing the Please move on. Next matchup, please. I please to leave. blocked that from my memory. <laughs> it's not coming. Oh. Next one is please. carrot cake There it is. Carrot cake the carrot Mickey cake bar. cookie versus the Mickey ice cream bar. Nick? Carrot cake cookie. Yes. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> cookie, 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 Chris. <laughs> Sabrina. I'm also going with a carrot cake cookie. <laughs> Rob. Uh, I'm gonna go ice cream. You would. <laughs> you Desi. and my mom can hang carrot out. Carrot cake cookie. 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 Allison. Cookie. Cookie. I'm also going for the cookie, cookie. Chris. Uh, five, <laughs> five to one. What does the chat think? The chat also wants the cookie. Wow. <laughs> Six to one cookie over ice cream. Anything with cream cheese frosting on it. That's right. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> oh. Nick, Nick. Wow. Stop spreading cream cheese frosting on it. <laughs> God. Let's see the super chats. Oh, boy. Let's mess this all up. That's right. Is that a new one or an old one? That's an old one. Hold on. Oswald no 13 Jose. for the No Way Jose. That ties that ties up. It. That is four to four, the No Way Jose against the Ohana bread pudding. In your face. <laughs> <laughs> Give them a moment. This is a very complicated system to add these in. They have to push a bunch of numbers on Conky 2000, <laughs> and he'll print it out. They're using a map on my pal two to calculate it. My pal two. <laughs> oh my God! Whoa, I had that. Okay. C Division 3D, ten dollars for Ohana bread pudding. bread pudding, not Edie's ice cream. Thank you, C Division. Why are you so mean to Edie? <laughs> what did Edie do to you? It's what you used to cross property. That's five. So that's five to four right now. Ohana, bread pudding over the No Way Jose. John M, 9.99 for the ooey gooey toffee kink <laughs> You know. <laughs> that's the That's five to three. Five to three you know, for the cop salad right I think now. it says obey. Davy, Davy Sitter, five dollars. If you need a Davy set, call Davy Sitter. Five dollars. Sabrina is my spirit animal, super talented, so funny. I will adopt you and be your new mom. Said Diana. Good, because if my mother ever watches this show, I will be But dissolved. she won't, because your mother is the vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Becky Christensen, ten dollars. Ooey gooey toffee cake. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. Yeah, I love it. I hate that mm -hmm. this is going right now. <laughs> I hate it. Is that it? It's just because I want to be. That's it. So salad. let's go to Eric and Jason at the Krusty Krab for the official results. All right. Wow, Jason, that was incredible. We almost saw a fifteen hundred calorie salad. Make it into the Elite Eight. I'm certainly glad the ooey gooey toffee Jackson cake made it, out. though. Uh, but you know what? You know what's interesting is that the Mickey Beignets are better at Disneyland. The Rontel Wrap is better at Disneyland. Neither one of them made it. You know, if you want to know more about Disneyland, Jason, you can go to <laughs> DisneylandNewsToday.com or watch Disneyland News Today every week here 
uh, actually over on our main channel, WWNT uh, YouTube channel, all the greatest news about the Disneyland Resort, all the happenings, uh, things like maybe the food and wine food reviews with Patrick and SpongeBob. <laughs> That's a great video. Those are, that is fantastic. You can see people get snowed on at Disneyland. DisneylandNewsToday.com, the greatest Sounds source wrong. of Disneyland news in the world. <laughs> Oh, no, we got another one. What does that mean? Not another different doll, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> a no oh, way, we got a no way Jose. Jose. That ties it up. Dude, that could endanger our all-carb uh, uh, Elite Eight matchup <laughs> you know? between I the mean, so and not bread service. Does that mean... <laughs> and does, the bread pudding. Does that mean you and I have to decide, Eric? Well, no I don't know way, when we're Jose. cutting these off. <laughs> Um, I, I thought we were already cut off, but keep going. Well, let's right, we go. let's make this easy. I want to keep bread versus bread, so I'm going to vote for the. Ohana I don't think we should pudding. close this. Uh, my show. criticism then would be, uh, again, you have to be the best version of what you are, and the Ohana bread pudding is by far inferior to the House of Blues oh. bread pudding. So I'm going to have to say uh, the No Way Jose. So well, we are at an impasse. Now what do we do? Wait now for a super chat. Keep going. Choose your <laughs> weapon. What? Wait for a super chat. Just keep All right. going. Well, we'll keep going while we wait going. for we'll that last that super one. chat. Uh, we've got the PB and J milkshake versus the Ohana noodles. That's an interesting matchup because they both have peanut butter. <laughs> You're right, Jason. I don't know how I feel about that. It's interesting, isn't it, when you think about and, it? And Ohana used to have Peter Pan running around. He was a peanut butter guy, right? Remember back Pe in the day, Peter there was a Peter no. Pan guy running Pe around the Polynesian yes. for some wild reason? No, no one knows why. Maybe to sell peanut butter. I don't know. Could be. Well, we'll Please see where stop. that one goes. Uh, we're going to have that ooey gooey toffee cake. Thank God a salad didn't make it this far. <laughs> I guess the Tonga toast. Now, you know what's interesting about the ooey gooey toffee cake is there aren't many words that have four vowels and only five letters. I know. And it's a shock to me that they have not yet renamed this the Oogie Boogie Toffee Cake <laughs> to insert more IP into the park. That, that would make a lot of sense. Absolutely. Uh, I don't. I don't think that Oogie Boogie has anything to do with the Liberty Tree Tavern, though. It yeah. doesn't matter. IPs need to go in. Well, that's and, true. And then, really, I think down here in the, uh, what are we calling it, the starring rolls region, really the weakest remaining dishes, the, uh, the, Dole, the Whip. Dole Whip and the Ronto wrap? No, the Dole Whip and the carrot cake cookie. I'm sorry, the Dole Whip and the, I'm sorry, the Dole Whip and the carrot cake cookie. Or wait, did the, Those are did just the both no. things that, yeah, Why is that saying them? They're they're trying to. I think it's the carrot cake cookie beat the Mickey ice cream bar. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. One you pick out of a it bin wasn't at even Starbucks, close. and one you wasn't even close. Buy carrot the mix cake cookie. Right. Yeah, I mean, one you buy at Starbucks, one you buy at Publix. It doesn't really make it any difference. But I agree that I don't think either one of these two are going very far in this next controversial round. opinion. I agree with uh, what one of the panelists said. I think the Dole Whip perhaps the most overrated of all foods on Walt Disney World property. It, Just something that is uh, really average, I would it's, say. It's taken, on, it's taken on like a, 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 this aura of something. I don't know Correct. why. I know. It, it, these things, they take on an aura, and people think they're good because they're told that they're supposed to think they're good. Dole Whip. I don't know. Not the, even the best thing in that stand. I mean, the coconut Dole Whip is better. No. The orange cream swirl is better. Well, that, that may be true, too, but... I don't know. We have a lot of controversy. The judges are sorting through all of the, uh, all the tabulations. The, we have some hanging chads. It says Florida. Apologize. Uh, but we're going to sort this out in just a second. What do we have? Do we have a ruling yet, Jake? We have super chats. Oh, no. We super have chats. a super chat for the bread pudding, which is what we needed to put that one ahead. We're back to a all-carbs Elite Eight. Matchup. Now the bread pudding is ahead six to five, and I think uh, because we're at this late hour of the day, we're going to call that one. We'll wait to see what the other super chats are. Oh, you need a whiteboard like chats. Tim Russert, remember? He's like, yes. You need a whiteboard. There are other super chats. There are. Are there? There's one more. Another one for bread. Yay. There we go. That settles it. That's Which Ohana these... bread pudding, that vote. Does that settle it, Jake, or do we have more? Bread pudding again, oh. another one. Yeah, it's, that's, that's bread now pudding. ahead by three. Now the bread pudding has pulled way ahead, which is clearly going to make a bread versus bread matchup. 
in the next round. Now we're speaking my language, Jason. This body was built by bread. So uh, that that's it then. We're gonna have the uh, the bread versus bread matchup. Yep. Right, there are no no more super chats, right, Jake? There. Uh, what did he say? We're good. We're That's good. Okay. All right. Uh, then we're going to have the PB&J milkshake versus the noodles from Ohana. The, uh, as Jason says, the peanut butter matchup. Uh, ooey gooey toffee cake going against the Tonga toast. And a Dole Whip against the carrot cake cookie. We're going to take it back to our amazing panelists down there under the rotunda. Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, we're, we're looking for the amazing panelists. <laughs> wow. Here we are. Okay. <laughs> so it's time. It's time to wrap this thing up. Let's do this. Almost. I've still got Super Chats up. I can't see. I, I believe our first Sanab. match was Sanab Bread Pudding, yeah. or Sanab Bread Pudding, Sanab Bread <laughs> Service <laughs> against Ohana. Too much bread. Sanab so Bread dread. Service versus Ohana Bread Pudding. I'm going to go first. Never enough bread. Let's, let's be honest here. One of these dishes gets modified by most people that order it, and it's the bread pudding. People hate that sauce because of the banana chunks. You know what never gets mm -hmm. sent back? The, the bread about? service. The Sanaa bread service is my vote. Desi, go ahead. Get your bread pudding out of the way. Ohana bread pudding is the most delicious thing on property. Wow. No. Yep. Allison, go ahead. Bread pudding is no. really delicious. But I'm voting for the Sanaa bread service oh, because it is worried. far superior. Oh, yeah, scared. Nick, the bread service. Sabrina. Bread pudding. Thank you, Sabrina. Rob. You're welcome. Wow. Bread pudding. Wow. Yes. Bread pudding. Oh, that's, yes. That's tied. We are tied. <gasps> bread on bread, indeed. And the four that's crazy. Yeah, but uh, hey, my. Wait. My people will pull through. <laughs> will no, it's, they? Isn't will it four to two? Bite you. What? It's four two. No, it's three three. No, it's three three. three. No, did you say pudding or? I said pudding. Yeah. It's three three. You said pudding. I said pudding. Those two said pudding. No, no. they did not. Allison no. said bread no, service. I said bread service. Allison, Allison I said I gave, a, okay. gave a moving pudding speech, but then switched. <laughs> to the okay, service. She that's where on I got you. confused. Okay. Yeah, she did. <laughs> bread service is holding on. That's going to be chat for bread service. Four to three, bread service over bread pudding. All right. We can overturn that. No one's overturning that. <laughs> oh, oh, prove Tom wrong. Thomas closed the super I already closed it. No, you can't close it. Why can't Why I close can't it? I already call, moved on. Called it. I already super moved chat. on. Yeah, super chat. I'm not counting that. He called it. We're moving on. He called it. It's 11.48. Oh, it's 51 We're for bread on. pudding. I'm moving things faster than the clock. Please okay. move to the next matchup. Thank you. 11.48 at night. Thank you. The PB&J milkshake against the noodles. You have until we go to the votes to vote. That's when you're out of time. PB&J milkshake against the Ohana noodles. Uh, Rob. It's rare I go against nude, but I'm going the PB&J milkshake. You know. <laughs> wow. Sabrina. PB&J. Nick. PB&J milkshake. Oh, Desi. Again, not the alcoholic version, so I got to go with the Ohana noodles. noodles. Listen, you. Uh, Allison. Uh, I'm gonna. S I'm gonna say noodles. I'm say noodles. This is really tough, but I am tired of all this Ohana representation because the noodles <gasps> are the About only time. good thing out of those two, but. As revenge, I'm going to vote for the PP and J milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> there but we you go. Won. I like both of them. You oh, already man. won the Sanaa bread service. Not necessarily. You're like, we get in the su get, go <laughs> super chat. Oh, nope. PB and J. Wow. PB and J. Let's move on. Next Are you going to pull down the Ohana the means noodles? Three. They got noodles in the chat, so it's four to three. Mm. PB. It's still great. They're I just want to vote for the PB and J milkshake. I, in fairness, I do very often go get the PB&J milkshake, probably more often than I get noodles, honestly. All right. All right. <laughs> do, you want to, do you want to announce I it? I do. I do. Oh, no. So we have the Tonga Toast versus the <laughs> ooey, gooey toffee cake. Nick, why don't you go first? Oh, yeah. What are you picking? 
not Tonga Toast <laughs> because it's time to set my, my allegiance to Tonga Toast aside and go for the better, sweeter, yummy dessert, the best dessert on property, the ooey. Gooey. <laughs> Oh, Katie just, <laughs> just says, move it on. <laughs> Sabrina. Toffee cake. <laughs> Rob. What kind of toffee cake? I'm wanting it less and less the more he says it. But ooey, yeah. ooey gooey toffee cake. <laughs> that one. Yeah. Desi. I would typically say Tonga Toast, but Nick's got me swayed for the toffee cake. <laughs> of course I do. Allison. <laughs> I, I agree with Rob. The, the, the oh, you want it less and less, but you're going with it? <laughs> yes. Okay. I have the effect on things. <laughs> it's a good thing this podium is where it is. Come and go. I'm going to go. Don't, oh, no. I'm going to go. Don't, did you look? Get <laughs> 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 I'm going to go. I'm toffee cake. That's Poor six God. nothing. The chat. The chat is also going for toffee <laughs> cake. That is seven, seven. nothing <laughs> for the toffee cake. Let's move on. Let's make this one quick. It's the Dole Whip against the carrot cake cookie. Carrot cake. Yeah, I know. Sabrina already <laughs> went. Yeah, I know. That's carrot cake cookie, Nick. Carrot cake cookie. I'm going carrot cake cookie, Desi. I'm going to give the Dole Whip my pity vote. Allison. Carrot cake cookie. You were the one that said you like cream cheese frosting. I know, but anything. I also said that I was the conductor of the gold dole up train. She did. It's Those fair. cancel each other. They do. Rob, it's hard. cookie. It's five to one. Yeah, that's that's over. Uh, six six to one carrot cake cookie. Do we wow. have any super chats? <laughs> we do. Yeah, everyone the everyone the crowd just goes yes. <laughs> Spike the bee. Oh boy. <laughs> Who is singing back there? <laughs> they are all delirious back there. They're delirious up here. <laughs> Sana. It has that... two eighths at the end. Mike said back nine ninety nine. That's for the bread service. That puts it up five to three over bread pudding. There's another one for it's bread service. Five, Oh, it's not the red. No, one. no, that's what? only yeah. oh, four ninety nine. You're right. Whoa! There's oh. three. There's three for bread Whoa. service. Bread service. My bread service legion, calm down. We might need the super chats <laughs> after this. We've already destroyed the evil bread pudding. We will, uh, <laughs> the toffee cake will be a mighty foe. We will have to hold. Sure. Sure. Guys, oh, look at this. Oh. Another one for bread service. Also, the White Sox beat the Astros. I don't know if anyone cares. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Nope. I thought there was more. Uh, in case there's any argument back there, bread service won. <laughs> nine, uh, to, nine to three. I think Jake would. It, it's not even close. <laughs> Do you have a favorite sauce from from the bread service? I like the last three, so like eight, nine, and ten. The jalapeno the and then the ones? yeah. That's what but I like But the hummus too. is also always very the good. The hummus is fantastic. I that love might the be hummus. One of my favorite I'm a spicy spicy fan. You get the ten sauce as well, or no? I get as hot as it can go. I like bringing people for the first time and getting the ten sauce and not telling them how hot it is. Oh, oh no. no. Do we need to have the exact number, or can we just eliminate the bread pudding? 
We'd be happy to just eliminate the bread pudding with the incorrect score at this point. We would not be happy. Huh. We would like to go to bed eventually. <laughs> Some of us have to rope drop Magic Kingdom. I think in the Jason's morning. asleep already. Is he asleep? He's leaning against Eric Morton right now. Oh, I, I mean, there's, there's another super chat for noodles. There's two for noodles. From Thank our you, Jake. Jake. Are From we just Jake. waiting for Jake to super chat? Is that what we're holding on? Apparently. There's a PBJ shake. That pulls PB&J ahead until PB&J ties it with that one from Living the Dream. SOFT News, $10. As someone who bread hasn't had either, bread pudding sounds better. It's still, Thank yeah, you, it's still not close. But. I think they come on after the Eric Sapiro show. Don't, don't even. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Okay, to Eric and Jason for the official... We're, not, we're counting no more Super Chats. This is done now. The official results. Eric and Jason, take it away. Well, Jason, that was one incredible round. I'm curious, why, why does, when did Desi turn into this bad girl? She looks like she's <laughs> getting ready to sneak away to the bathroom to smoke a cigarette. I mean, it's, it's about time for that, She right? looks like a Hawaiian Johnny Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, Eric, this, uh, this was an interesting set of matchups here. You know what's really uh, what really caught my eye is that there was only one matchup all of today that the that the panel was universal on, and that was the ooey gooey toffee cake. Speaking of universal, Jason, where do you get your universal news if not from Universal Parks? Newstoday.com. We bring you all the latest breaking news from the Universal Resorts around the world, all the way here in Orlando, out to California, and even all the way out there in Asia. We have it all covered. Super Mario, Harry Potter, The Grinch. We have all these characters covered. Don't forget Halloween Horror Nights, uh, something about the fog. They're, you know, they got some fog stuff going on there. Universal Parks, Newstoday.com, the best Universal Parks news source on the globe. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, apologies to you out there. Any of your daughters got pregnant listening to Nick say <laughs> ooey gooey toffee cake? Uh, we are not responsible. We will deny any kind of liability here. Uh, but we apologize just the same. Let's, let's, let's recap this round. So the Sanaa bread service, thanks to Super Chats out the wazoo, uh, has beat the Ohana bread pudding. Ah. Uh, the carbs, I'm getting fatter just listening. Uh, that is the only one seat to make it to our final four, or whatever we're calling it. F food four, food, the, the foodie bread. four. Uh, and, anyway, whatever. so now's the only one seat. Uh, we did have the... noodles, they got bounced. We had wait, top wait, salad. Wait, 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 wait. Did the noodles get bounced? Tied? Did the noodles get bounced? I think it's noodles? tied right now. Mickey was a one seat, got bounced, the Mickey bar. I think the noodles and the PB and J shake are tied at five each right now. You two have to decide. That would be quite an upset. Let me tell you, I can get noodles anywhere. I can dump peanut butter on top of noodles. But you can't get the same kind of satisfaction you get from using store-bought ice cream to make a peanut butter and jelly milkshake. I'm going to go with the PB&J milkshake. Would you stop? Would you stop? <laughs> um, this is a tough one, Eric. I'm not sure whether to agree with you or not. Because on the one hand, the Ohana noodles are not the best thing at Ohana. The bread pudding's better. And it's not the best bread pudding on property, we agree, right? And it's not even the best bread pudding on property. I agree with that. I, I honestly, all right, so I, I don't understand the, the obsession with the Ohana noodles. Like, why, why are these people making shirts about Ohana noodles? You're these people! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you want an Ohana Mimi's noodles t-shirt, you can go to carouselofproducts.com. Uh, but no one's made a PB&J milkshake shirt. We need to do that. Right? So, so that, that sort of says something. But anyway, I don't understand. You can go to any Chinese restaurant and order lo mein and put a dollop of peanut butter on, and you got the Ohana noodles. So in my mind, the PB&J milkshake is the more unique item, plus it's closer to Epcot. <laughs> there you have it, folks. It's closer to Epcot. We're going with the PB&J milkshake. What's next, Jason? Next is the ooey gooey toffee cake. Uh, beat out the Tonga Toast, and that's now going to go up against the Carrot Cake Cookie, which beat out the Dole Whip. I don't have a whole lot to say about this matchup. I don't think either of these two stand a chance. Maybe the Ooey Gooey Toffee Cake. I don't think the cookie can make a run. Uh, really, the cookie doesn't belong. It's our Cinderella story this year. Yeah, I agree with that. It's, it was the five seed, uh, So, but and, and I don't think it stands a chance against that um, whatever that thing Nick keeps saying. 
Uh, isn't that PB and J milkshake a seven seed? That's a pretty deep run for. No, that was a three seed. Oh, was it a three seed? That was a three. Yeah, seed. not so crazy then. No, right. it was not so crazy. Maybe I mean, the Ohana noodles, noodles were a one seed. My throat hurts. Yeah, well, it's also after midnight, so. <laughs> it is after midnight. I can hear that clock ticking. <laughs> well, so you let's. You know, uh, I need to go before the twelfth chime. <laughs> that that oh, my means we better. Wagon that means we better. into Poppy pulling a sled. We better. <laughs> If that's what happens, then we better send it back down to the. Let's uh, send it back panel. under the rotunda for the, uh, for these fi this final four match. Yeah. Thanks. Maybe. There we go. Yeah, Jason and I got a rope drop glove world in the morning, so let's what? hurry. What? Up. It's a SpongeBob world? thing. Oh, oh. what's oh. it called? I, I'm glove, too old they for go that. to Glove World. Glove World. Yeah, on SpongeBob. You okay. ever seen SpongeBob? Yeah, yeah, no, that I just. You said Love World. At first. That's what I think. Yeah, That's I where love Nick's love going, I think. With the, with for the, the Max. Allison, game. please. <laughs> the Max. Allison, you have made all the there. raunchiest jokes tonight. I can't. I am, what are you talking Stop. about? I've all right. Nothing about first matchup. <laughs> okay, please. Is the Sanaa Bread <laughs> Service <laughs> against the PB and J Milkshake? Rob. N no. Yeah. What? Isn't it? Oh wait, no. Do I have the wrong one? No, it's you have the right one. one. Okay. I think they, the milkshake they voted, voted for in. the PB and J back there. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Jason and I voted for PB and J. They both both did. It was our tiebreaker. They sound the same. <laughs> if it if it's the noodles, noodles I'm the noodles. Peanut butter and jelly. Very no. similar. Value. It's the great value. <laughs> <laughs> what is it peanut butter and jelly milkshake? Value. Oh. Only available at Walmart. I can tell you what's not a value is paying forty-five dollars to eat a whole bunch of noodles. Thank you, Jason. Your, your points are pudding. indispensable. Okay. Uh, Sana Bread Service kicks the PB and J milkshake. Ross. PB and J milkshake. Wow. Sabrina. PB and J. I understand why you have to say that. Yeah. Nick. I mean, there's three great desserts in the final four. PB and J is probably the third on that list. I mean, there's no way that beats Sanaa Bread Service. That's unfair. So you're picking Sanaa? Sanaa Bread Service. Yeah. I'm also taking Sanaa Bread Service because it's no shock to anyone. Desi? No. Uh, I have me. not voted for the PB and J milkshake yet. However, However, because you voted against me out of spite, I'm going to vote against you out of spite. These are both wow. my children. Wow. I can't lose. <laughs> wow. PB and J milkshake. That's fine. I will. Allison? Take that pretty vote. Bread service. Awesome. Bread service. Uh, and the chat the is saying goes bread, bread service, service as well. That's bread four to three. Yeah. I can't lose. These are my four favorite That's things crazy. at Disney World. Are they? Oh, the Cobb salad. I'm doing okay. Well, the Cobb salad's good things. Good things. Yeah, I know, but I love these four things. I'm happy with any of these at this point. These four point. are yeah. really good choices. Four yeah. to three, so not over PB and J. So let's move on to the next matchup, which is the ooey. Gooey toffee cake against the carrot cake cookie. Cookie. Nick. Cookie. 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 I win either way. Nick, That's cookie great. or ooey? <laughs> um, I mean, that cookie is good. But, but, I mean, seriously, who doesn't drool when that ooey, gooey toffee cake gets put right down in front of you? <laughs> Sabrina. People can't people can't resist. Oh this one's this one's really hard for me because I love carrot cake. Mm -hmm. But that toffee cake is <sighs> I'm going toffee cake. Rob. It's toffee cake. It's toffee Desi. cake. Desi. Oh god, I love them both so much. They're mm -hmm. so good. Only one of them has cream cheese frosting, though. Carrot cake cookie. Only one of them is a cookie. <laughs> Shut up, Allison. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm going to take the cake. Cake. And eat it, too? Carrot yeah. cake or toffee cake? Wait, yeah, which yeah, one? which cake? Aren't they the ones Carrot that cookie? Carrot cake, cookie, and to oh, toffee oh, oh, cake. Oh, the, the, the toffee cake. Toffee, toffee cake. cake. The toffee cake. So it's four to one. Yes, it is. You know, I want to see the best entree. I, mean, I guess it's an entree. 
I want to see the best savory versus the best sweet in all of Disney World. Yep. I want to see bread service versus toffee cake. Yeah. So I'm going toffee cake. Epic. I want to see this. That's five to one in the chat. Has agreed on the ooey gooey toffee cake. Six to one. Do we have any super chats? Yes. Has someone? No, that's nope. old. <laughs> Lil Archer 189, my god, this isn't over yet. That's accurate. <laughs> Bread service, service said Mike. That's five to three now. Owen oh, also said bread service. He said it Two twice, in fact. Oh. That is, what is that, what does that bring Ooh. us up to? Thank you. <laughs> Carrot cake cookie. It's one more for the cookie. Delicious. Doesn't really help it, but. Any more? That's it. That's it. So I'll let Eric and Jason make it official. Wow, Jason, that we are uh, almost done with this entire tournament, and there have been some surprises along the way. There sure has. This Final Four is amazing, no matter how you slice it. Whatever happens from now on in, I'm sure it's going to make the news tomorrow morning. You know, if you can't wait until tomorrow morning, you can always check out WW News today. Find all the latest Disney Parks news from all the Disney Parks around the world when our website works. And you can go to www.nt.com to find today. all your latest Disney Parks news. I, I think, Eric, let's let's send it right back down to that rotunda thing and get this well, over. Hold on with. a second. I, I'm not quite ready for that because oh. I just want to bring to light something tragic that nearly happened. We didn't near miss. We almost had something from a that you grab from a cooler in Starbucks <laughs> almost made it to our finals. That's it's absurd. I, I don't care bakery, whether it has cream goofus. cheese icing or not, to be honest. <laughs> You can buy, just buy your own container of cream cheese icing at Publix. That was almost a disgusting error by our panel, but thankfully wow. everybody saw to make wow. this right, to set up this final, an epic final, the best savory dish, in my opinion, maybe, in, in uh, Disney World, uh, against the maybe the, the sweet... What's that? Do we have to go to the commercial? Can we just oh. move on? But before we I'd do like that, to move. No, we're going to move on. We're not going to commercial. No, we're going to go back for this final <laughs> bloody match between these two bitter rivals. Only one will stand at the end. The other one will be murdered. So we have Sanaa <laughs> Bread Service against the ooh, gooey toffee cake. Thanks up there in the dome. Oh, it's not a dome, that's Jason's head. <laughs> you know, so you know, I want to take my food advice from people that think that the House of Blues makes the best anything. All right, cool, let's move on, shall we? Might as well just say Rainforest Cafe is the best food. <laughs> All right, cool. Here we are, it's Hyper Sanaa, God. Sanaa versus the ooey, gooey, ooey, toffee, toffee cake. cake. The sweet, sweet versus savory, let's make it happen. Nick. Really, me? Yeah, no. This I, is amazing. These really are, seriously, probably two of my favorite things. Yeah. Right, like this, is, this, this, this got down to the best. Um, I, 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 oh man, this is, this, this really is so difficult. I'm, I'm, so I'm not, seriously, not just because of what's going on tonight, but I think if you, if you gave me the choice, here you go, last meal, you could have that, you could have the bread service, or you could have the toffee cake. I would dig right in to the ooey, gooey toffee cake. That's my vote. Sabrina. Um, I know I've given you a very hard time about this and stuff, and really, I'll be honest, if it was Cobb salad and, like, toffee cake, I, or anything in Cobb salad, it would have been the other. Yeah. But, mm. like, the, the bread service is worthy of being in the final two. Yeah. So is the toffee cake. Um, That's fair. So, really, there's, no matter who comes out ahead on this. We um, finally have something that deserves to win, no matter what. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, but that being said, I am going to go toffee cake. All right. Cake. Piano Rob. Uh, it's a tough one, but I'm going to go bread service. Desi. This is exciting. Oh, my God. This is so tough. It is. Um, but 
Rob said last week that you had you would pay for the entire meal just to get the toffee cake versus I don't know if I would pay for the rest of Sanaa just to get the bread service. So I'm going to go with the toffee cake. Allison? Um, so what's interesting is that I think that yeah. one of the best yeah. things that I've had on property it's is not on this list at all, one. which is the seafood pot pie from Ale and Compass. No one knows it exists, I know, though, but is it's, the problem. It's, it is very, very It is cool. one of my favorite things I've That's ever fair. eaten here, and I feel like it deserves an honorable mm -hmm. mention. We've waited until right now, 12, <laughs> 12, 10 at night, to bring up this pot pie. It's so good. This I, is the I, wrong type I, of pot I, I, brought, I brought it up in nominations. <laughs> it got shut out in nominations. Uh, ah, yeah. it wasn't here. Um, so with that being said, I'm voting for Sanaa Bread Service. So that's a you know, we marketed this as as the chat would get to decide really by being the seventh. Two? By being the seventh, no, that's wrong. It's three. Yeah. To, it's three to two. It's, it's three, three to, two. to two. Toffee cake. Um, that the chat would get to decide, and I am Mr. Br I have, you know, I've had the toffee cake a couple days in a row, probably in my life. <laughs> I've had the bread service more than once in a single day, <laughs> so I have to go with the Sana bread service. <laughs> that is absolutely true. I've had toffee cake multiple days in a row and the bread service three times in one day. It's a real thing. So but it's anyway, three it's not three, healthy. Three, three to three. It yeah. should be three, three to three. Three to three. It's three to three, which means the chat does in fact get to decide. As they <laughs> should. And as of right now, they are going with the Sanaa bread service. That is four to three, but I am almost certain we probably have some super chats here in this Four final bread match. service, probably. I mean, it might be for the Toffee King. Nick made a strong case for the Toffee King. I did. I'll be honest. I think these are the two app. If you ask me what my two fav my favorite food item and dessert are at Disney World, this is what I'm saying. It's yeah. these two. I mean. Gooey gooey. There oh, you go. Two. That's Give two. Now, tw two. Yeah. Nick, I will meet you at the van after the show for ooey gooey good time. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> two. Two votes for that. That puts I'm, it in the lead. I might even include some toffee cake. <laughs> <laughs> that woke up the audience. <laughs> I'm joking. They're fast asleep. <laughs> we have, do we have more? I think there is. That's two points. That's yep. 20. I saw another one. There's Mike there said back with one vote for the bread service that ties us up. <gasps> Do not leave yeah. this to Eric and Jason, please. Oh, God, no. <laughs> please be more. You didn't vote for anything. <laughs> <laughs> Becky, thank you for the super chat, though. No matter what, carbs win tonight. Oh, yeah. right. With this group, carbs win every night. Carbs that, that, that's Tom's race slogan. Carbs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, this is what I'm going to have before and after the race. <laughs> in fairness. Yeah. Maybe during. I, I'm pretty picturing somebody cool. giving Tom a toffee cake. There's a party cake. cool. I'm not no. clapping for that blank chat. Who? For the toffee cake. Toffee cake. They're in the audience. That's two points for the toffee cake. Oh, I will clap for that one. Yes. yes. That's seven yes. to five for the toffee cake. Oh, my yes. goodness. What have you done? Huge. There's a, oh, there's more. I just more. said the oh, word no, really there's sexy. More. And oh, there's more. Oh, there's there's more. more. That's only five that's dollars. Not, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Oh, that's, that's five dollars. dollars. You've been watching for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> How did you not know this? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Tommy, yeah. that's two more. That's two more. Two more. Two more. Tommy, oh, Kenny. Tommy. Yeah. There's so much yes. super chat. What is amazing. happening? Oh, my goodness gracious. This is amazing. One more for bread. It's now... Where's your buddy nine, Owen now? It's nine now. to six. What? Where's your buddy Owen now? now. <laughs> another bread. There's another bread. Nine to seven. Seven. Yes, yeah, seven. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Rob. Is is he in the? Brian Ernie, it's blank. Is he in the room? <laughs> no, no, that's all, Brian. All blank chats go to. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> they don't go to anything. I They're know. blank. Oh, Brian Kidding. Brian, Brian, you gotta tell us. But WWE Mickey, that's two, 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 two for bread. Oh no, bread. that's tied. We're tied again. Nine. Brian, which one? We don't know what Brian picked. I'm There's another one for, for toffee, toffee cake. cake. That is 
10 to 9 toffee no, cake. No, this is ridiculous. More. This is amazing. This is amazing. No, no. <laughs> so good. Yeah, there we go. I don't even care if it wins anymore. The magic will be open by the time we're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, oh, there, oh, oh, no. oh, there's a lot more chats. There's more? There's a lot. There, oh, yeah. It's there's, there's, why is this? Yeah. Why are there, there so they're many? Going. There keep going. $20 bread, for bread service. Two more for bread service. Now. That's 11 to 10 bread service. Living the dream. Is that 30? 30. Have a wonderful trip and safe to those who are going to Tokyo. Thank does you. no vote. Does go living the dream That's have just a very vote? kind, very sweet. So that's yeah. Rosita, wait, you skipped Rosita's bread. Rosita. <laughs> Rosita said bread. Two for bread. bread. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Nope. That's new. Rosita How much did? for bed? <laughs> <laughs> When did you become Jason? <laughs> <laughs> That's 13 to 10 now. Oh, no. Oh, but apparently there's 40 getting, more of these. We're getting, no, there, oh, yeah. This show is never going to Dawn with two bread. more for bread. Oh, bread. That's, That's 15, 15 to 10. 10. Bread is pulling away. <laughs> That's Prince Brian. With the box. So, well, Wait you know, a minute. So he did 10 earlier, he has, right? So he has, Brian has two for yeah. bread. We are at 17.10 now. Okay. Oh. There's 19.10 for bread. Mike, you're awesome. Wow. Bread's running low now. Oh my god. Whoa! 50 dollars for bread. Which will be the cost in two years, the way wow. Disney is going. Yeah. Cost for bread service? Yes. There we go, another bread. I don't even know what it is. Uh, 10, what are we 15, at? 20. 24? 25, 25, 25, 25 to 10? 25, 25 to 10. That's a lot. I think it's over. It's not. There's more super chats. We have to read them all. That's the rule of super chats. It is the rule of super yeah. chats. You can go through them fast. You don't have to keep counting. Just keep going. Yeah. That's best for Say it, Nick. There's one for you, though. Say it, Nick. Gooey, gooey toffee cake. Oh, one more. I just keep going. Just keep going. I would think bread we service. Two more. That's two. two for bread service. Keep going. I think that's the last one. I think that's one. it. Is that it? Have we reached the end? Hang on. No. Oh my God. No, that's it. There's no more. <laughs> for what? Are we, Jake? Are we? Twenty-seven to eleven. Twenty-seven to eleven. Bread service has been deemed the best food item. In all of Wall Street. What? what? I can't believe it. <laughs> it was close a couple times. It was. I mean, even that voting, the super chat's the only reason it, it blew that away. Otherwise, it was close. But like we said before, these are actually the two best items at Disney. They are. So this is, this is great. Let's send it one last time. The top to four Eric. wasn't bad either. And, no, I mean, I, I think for the first time ever, like the stuff that made it to like the last... Probably 16 was all worthy of being. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, back to Jason and Eric one last time. Jason, I have to say that was incredible. I was a little worried that we were going to have to make a tie-breaking vote there for a while. That, and I, I don't think that was going to work out. So I'm glad that for all those super chats to come in because those will definitely go towards getting Jake a new computer now. That is, that is, that is actually true. That and the auction... And yeah. any number Come of back things. on Sunday and bid in the auction to help get Jake a new computer, too. Yes, but uh, I don't know about you, Eric, but all talking about all these foods, man, it makes me want to book a trip to Disney World right now. And you know who you should go to, Jason? The vacationer, the engineers of your next magical Disney trip. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next magical trip. The best part is that their services are free. free. Visit www.travel for details. Jason, that was an incredible March Madness this year. That I think, was. I uh, think that the, the two worthy people were in the matchup. The Sanaa bread should, I guess they're not people. We don't need people. It's, soy, it's not soy the green thing. Um, it was, I, but you know what, Eric? Religious undertones point, all of a sudden this on this point, show. At this point, it's after midnight. Let's just let's just call it a night. You know what, Jason? I give a salute to Sana Bread Service, uh, the winner, and a salute to the ooey, gooey, toffee cake. But we got to get out of here, Jason. We can't, you old fool. We're bolted to the seats. 
Back to you, Tom. I don't know where the camera is. It's on me. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I can't. I can't anymore. My God. Oh, man. Nick, say it one more time for old time's sake. What do you want me to say, Tom? You know what I want you to say. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? The vacation era. The No, not the vacation era. <laughs> Never again. That's over now. Obviously, well, we've, we've burnt that bridge like so many others. You want me to say, ooey, gooey, toffee cake. <laughs> you want to go lay on Rob's <laughs> piano and say <laughs> <laughs> We're going to drop water from the ceiling. <laughs> Just so gooey. Toffee. Right. Sorry, I'm just getting excited. I'm okay. All right. Got to count down. Oh, so man. Well, that. It's kind of sticky in here, Tom. That is the end of March Madness. Oh, my goodness. That is also uh, the end of our season, ladies and gentlemen. We have reached the end. It is... Uh, Time to say goodbye. I just want to say. Are you happy this. we're leaving, or? Jason just. I didn't want to know what Jason's gonna do in here for two months. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> come see, come see Jason's burlesque show Wednesday nights <laughs> in the studio while we're gone. Um, sincerely, I want to thank uh, every. What'd you guys do to the table? I know. You're making it worse. No, the corner was showing. I'm just trying to fix it so it's not showing. Don't get excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to thank all the on-air talent uh, for a great season. I want to thank Piano Rob for joining us. Thank you. It's been, it's been a blast. Roberto Ivories. Uh, I want to thank uh, the camera the camera operators, Katie and Trent. And Trent's not here now, but Katie's here. Uh, and I got to thank the, uh, the boys in the back, Jake and Darius. Thank you guys for making it happen. Appreciate it. It's been a fun season. And then thank you most of all to you at home who for some reason still watch this. I'm not entirely, entirely sure why. I'm not sure how high you are, but thank you. I swear. Thank you, Half thank you for high. watching. And, uh, and remember, kids, uh, oh, you know, I completely forgot. Rob, we have a, we had a request via Super Chat that you never got to play. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think, so Rob, I think, uh, take it away. So I have no idea what's happening anymore. There we go. Uh, well, folks, I have to get out of here. I'm off to Japan. Nick, are you coming? I, I can't make it. Tom, I, I need to stay here and take care of the studio while you're, you're gonna gone. You're going to watch the yeah, studio? Yeah, I'll watch the studio. I'll take care of things here. All right, maybe next yeah, time. Yeah, maybe. All right. Well, me and this strange bird I found in this hot air balloon are going to leave. Goodbye, Nick. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> no, faster. You're gone. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. See you next season. Oh, fireworks. Look. Look. Oh, wait. Found friendly hands to meet the world. The sounds as friendly people of Japan. We meet the world with love. We meet the world with love. We meet the world with love. We out friendly hands we meet the world with love
push to the sky and the stars glow for you Go see the world cause it's all so brand new Don't close your eyes cause the future's ready to shine It's just a matter of time before we learn how to fly Welcome to the rhythm of the night Something in the air you can't deny Well it's been fun but now I've got to go Life is way too short to take it slow But before I go and hit the road I gotta know When can I see you again? When can 